Lumai and Tom Tom. So Lumai, I've heard, kinda, kinda all right at the Blaze Blue video game. Tom Tom? I mean, we're looking at the player card. Tom Tom definitely has some experience in this game. I mainly know Tom Tom as an Exert player. Very, very strong Leo from NorCal, I believe. Uh, great Salem in a Blaze Blue tonight. See how this goes. See, Tom I'm going with Kagura. I think Kagura definitely fits. Uh, if you're a Leo player, Kagura I think fits pretty well. I see Kagura has a few different stances he can go into, and a few different move, uh, three different moves from each stance. If you do one of those, st each stance, once per stream, you'll find Thank you so much for playing in the code. Uh, are in match arena. You know, Tom Tom is a big Leo player in Exit, so I think the, the Kagura pick is, uh, works pretty well. Elgrim, thank you so much for the ball. Also, Boogie earlier, so I cannot get him out of here. Here, I'll be mine with a reverse super. Well, see, uh, one of the big things with Teremi is Teremi kind of has, like, a lot of meter ceiling, especially with a lot of the supers, and especially in OD as well. Uh, character, like, especially in OD, uh, compared to a lot of characters, has, like, big comeback factor. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Definitely for, damn, for, for a Kagura round, what's going on a while, but oh my god! <laughs> big B flash kick. Hit, oh no, I, was that, was that a dead aim? Was that a counter assault? Just got beat out by surfboard? Okay. So I pick characters that are similar to that main, or pick very different ones. Yeah, no, so, sometimes it's, sometimes it ends up being very different. Uh, but like, I don't know, so, sometimes people just got that archetype they like. Did surfboard just happen to, or did the dead angle just whiff, or, <laughs> or the surfboard, like, I'm assuming it just whiffed and there's no, like, special properties with surfboard, okay, that's fine. No, okay, okay, anti-air 6A, here we go, big 6A counter hit from, oh, no drops the combo, no happy little resets today, here we go, just going with the 5B and pressure, 5B, not a bad button, plus 2 on block, I believe, I actually have no idea for Terami, I just know it's the same button as Hazma, and Hazma is plus 2, so I'm gonna assume it's the same for Terami. The plus two on the law moves forward a little bit, so not bad at all on pressure, but oh my god. <laughs> pressure not even mattering right now. Tom, I'm pulling up a big Kagura combo. 4.7k, not enough to kill. Lumai sending it right back with the wake up super. Oh, a little bit afraid of a potential flash kick coming out. Tom, I'm just gonna the delay to a mash. We call that Fuzzy Abare out here. <laughs> I also let our. I'll let our following stream matches, uh... I'll let them give them a heads up for what's going on. Here we are blessing the runs in chat. We'll see how it goes. Tom Tom up in one game. Yes, throwing out the fireball, throwing out the big buttons. Kagura definitely slower than most characters in this game, but definitely has some very big range that this character is still very scary. And when this character hits you, this character like has very high consistent damage. Ooh, throw, ooh, okay, I don't know if it's like a miss input from Tom Tom, but it doesn't get the combo. There we go. A weaker flash kick, getting a big combo off of this. Look at this! This is what you get off your DP. 3.6k in the corner. There we go. Oh, tries to ODEA. Tom, I'm just gonna block that. There we go. Easy punish there. 3k, nothing for Kagura. Perfect for Tom. Time to go on the set point now. You guys gotta make something back. It's definitely looking rough right now. Oh, okay. Excellent. IED JC goes right over the fireball. Fortunately, the, the JC doesn't have a lot of hits done unless you let the full thing rock. We gotta make sure all the hits are gonna rock or else, yeah, you don't get too much. Here we go, big command grab combo from Tom Tom. Okay, double overhead in the corner. No combo though, without meter. Okay, there were RC, okay. Yeah, yeah there we go, the, was it RC, B stance A? I don't know what the B stance A is called, that's like the, the layer one Kagura. Uh, but you can, you can blow that up if you know. I don't know if Lumai knows that. Maybe not ready. Okay, there we go. Quick overhead right into the super. Okay, not, not the worst damage for spending 50 bar off a of fast overhead. I don't know how fast it overhead, it doesn't look very easily reactive. They were- Ooh, okay, RC into the OD? Say jam! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've seen some funky combos with Terami where it's like, oh my god, this just might kill. 
Okay, well, that's a full meter on Lumai's side. This is very doable. I mean, even just like sending out super. Okay, there we go. Yeah, RC. Ooh, okay, we can come down. Holding on to that burst. Doesn't believe it's going to kill. I mean, hey, the combo drops anyways. Well, that's it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, surfboard RC1 command grab. The classic from Kagura. <laughs> classic mix to get in. And with that, Tom Tom is going to take our first set of the night 2 0. And we got winners of round two with Trauma Ball and free game and no complaint. Trauma uh, out here from Edmonton, I believe. He's been on the grind with, uh, play, I know played a lot of BB Tag back in the day, back when that game was new. And uh, yeah, for the past, like, I want to say, couple years? O over a year at this point, before rollback even, has been on the grind with CF playing Coca Noah. Uh, but right now we have free game no complaint coming up to stop. Yo, the is that is that that's nine I think. <laughs> it kind of looked like you know it, but thanks so much for playing the code on that channel. Yeah, we got oh yeah we got free game doing really well right now. Oh, empty jump six a overhead. Oh no, drop the two C. Well, oh, this could be really big for Toronto. Yeah, Kokonoi, very big set play character in this game. Lots of big setups, funky mix up this character can do. Oh no! We're seeing more dead angles just completely whiff here. There we go, just big 3C punish right into the Super Bowl ender. Here we go. Okay, yeah, getting a little bit of pressure with the Super Bowl. Let's see. Oh no, just the ODE angle and right through that 3C. Free game gonna dab right on Toronto to take round one. Yeah, as, as we've been seeing with free game, uh, playing Aurelius, one, one of the two puppet characters of this game. <laughs> Your mains, thank you so much for completing the survey for us. Let's see, oh no, free game, try to contest the fidget spinner. <laughs> That's just gonna give Toronto a full combo. Here we go, yeah, 3.3k, oh my god. There we go, okay, pretty big, like, not, no set plays up, so not nothing too scary. Kokonoi is definitely a lot more scary after she's gotten like one hit. Yo, one more thing, she's not claiming the coat. She can set up Jam Session, set up Fireball, set up Super Ball. Yeah, she can cross you up right like that. Here we go, still keeping the corner. Things looking real good for Toronto. Looks like Free Game wants to hold on to the burst. Yeah, okay, delayed air dash overhead. Looks like we're heading into round three. Guild of Scizor, thank you so much for claiming the coat on Match Arena. Uh, but yeah, sorry, Rally's, uh, Rally's one of the pop characters of this game. And you can see, uh, kind of does everything with that doll, and very nice with the main. He's gonna use the OD. Everything the doll does, uh, costs a little bit of doll meter. Uh, so you'd have to manage that, but the o using OD or your regular meter, uh, can be used to help manage that, keep the doll alive. There we go, very nice from Toronto, just gonna completely stall out the entirety of this super. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, the doll looking very low right now, but here we go. It's coming back for free game. Purple default pro puppetry. Thanks so much for playing the code on Match Arena. There we go. Oh no, tries to reset with the doll command grab, but Toronto's holding up back. Here we go. To be whipping. There we go. Does wave with that the race app. Here we go. This is looking real nice. Okay. It's looking rough for Toronto. Not looking real nice. Uh, we can definitely take this. Uh, we'll still have to play around de or counter assault and burst. So it is really scary when like kind of any hit from the doll could do it and oh no. Yeah, trying to trying to get in with that air dash JB, but just sniped by the 2C. 2C has that hand involved, also puts Relics very low to the ground, so it can be very scary to jump in against this character. Yo, the Tager, thank you so much for claiming the code on Match Arena. Yeah, nice George is take, taking a break. I get to get to sit back. Oh, hopefully you're doing alright. And just watch the bracket tonight. Okay, we'll cross up JB, no combo though. And you'll see a yeah, doll kind of literally doing everything for Relius. Or kind of like, girls use it for everything. Oh, but yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, OD right through the 5C. Here we go. I don't actually know how much Kokonoi utilized OD. Oh, no, okay, Ledley right through the jump in. Ledley has got a spot dodge move for Relius. It does have a few frames of counter hit recovery and is throw vulnerable. Oh no, caught by the counter assault. Toronto not going for the barrier block. Here we go. Okay, you wake up Super Ball. Big reversal. Okay, so oh, the brain destroyer. 2B going right under. Gonna make the jam fashion cross up. 
Oh no, once again, 2C anti are catching Tron or air dashing right in there. That's it, okay, Doll Meter is gone. Uh, forgive me, yeah, okay, gonna use the RC, just keep up, Oh no! Aw, uh, people trying to hard tech out here in Blaze Blue. This is what happens. Here we go, Oh no, Tron are trying to do the funky little resets. Just like Mako T. Ah, uh, but not gonna work every time. And you have to be real careful. I mean, both these characters can kinda get, like, random hits, not, too, like, without too much difficulty, but I feel like with, uh, okay, they're super all, and oh, no, was that still in recovery? Huh. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was recovery or if, uh, I'm trying to hit something, but it's probably still recovery. There we go, big air throw combo. Drama getting the big read on round start. Here we go, has free in the corner. The jam session set up. Yeah, just okay, basic coconut crusher tries to re jump right back in. Oh no! Okay, the 2C counter hit. Yeah, that's just gonna be bursted. Drama's not wanna get up at all. Oh, no, free game is just so ready for any kind of aerial approach. Uh, do I do? Uh, I think. I imagine coconut can use Graviton to air stall. So if he, if he doesn't want to bait with that, uh, that is an option, but oh, it's looking really rough right now. Now I might not even get too many chances to do that now. I know one more, ooh, I don't think this kills, but one more hit after this. Actually, wait, no, free game got 50 meter from this. Okay, no, but now you're dealing with Relius mix in the corners. Not too much doll meter, and ah, oh, no, there's the doll command grab. Finishing it off, that's gonna be 2-0 for free game, no complaint. Hang on, I'll, I'll set it up after this set, but I will, I will refund you later regardless. <laughs> but uh, now we got our other winners round to a match with Remains and Mana. Both very, very strong uh, players and both strong characters as well. I cannot tell, is that Nana say? It's probably not Nana say, but thank you so much for claiming the code on Mantra Arena. Not already, Mana has gone into Dangerous Day. He's a Nami considered by many people in this game to be top one. Uh, for a pretty good reason. Definitely got some pretty strong tools, but Nine as well. Nine's also a character that really, like, Nine does not struggle in too many matchups, to say the least. Uh, so, uh, I can definitely see this very much going either way. That is true, Jason. He's an does not wear a hat. <laughs> definitely gonna play into the, into the match here. Uh, but yeah, you'll see the way Izanami works is, as opposed to a double jump, she has a float. Uh, which you'll mainly use in pressure. She can either very like quickly go to the ground or quickly go into an air dash for a high. Uh, she, you see, she also has those bits that surround her. While the bits are up, uh, you can uh, she cannot block, but the bits act as an extremely strong and like covering a lot of space for a fireball. Uh, nine, on the other hand, uh, nine for her ABC buttons as opposed to having her what's it called? Like, light, medium, heavy, which is what pretty much every character in this game has for their ABC buttons. Oh, fuck! <laughs> High Voltage coming in with $300 into the Macharino! <laughs> oh my god, thank- oh my- <laughs> Thank you so, so much. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, oh my god. <laughs> Confirmed not pong. Wait, what? Like, th thank you so, so much, High Voltage. I really, uh, <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. It's a very, very generous donation there. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the players will be, uh, e excited for that, but I, I gotta, like, I, I can't, I can't say it enough, but, <laughs> like, genuinely, thank you so, so much. It's, it's very much, uh, it's not the first time you've donated either, so, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Okay, because 300 was not enough, uh, just slapped another 200 right on top of that, uh, to put us at 514 right now. Uh, <laughs> I gotta, like, I gotta keep saying it, but, like, I thought, I, I just for not commentating the set, but it's like, I, I, I really do gotta say, like, thank you. It's like, it's, it's not the first time you've donated as well, so, like, it really does, it is very much appreciated, and it does mean a lot. Thank you so, so much for supporting the Snowfield Brackets. <laughs> uh, and, and as I was, uh, I was, as I was talking and thanking High Voltage for the generous, generous donations, uh, <laughs> Remains is gonna take game number one. Uh, I, was, I was talking about Nine, the, the way she works is, instead of having Light, Medium, Heavy, she has, uh, Water, Wind, and Fire Buttons. And her drive, her, her D button, her drive mechanic, 
uh, we'll send out a spell that's a combination of the last three elements that connected with the opponent on hit or block. Uh, so it opens up a lot of different like routing she can do in pressure and combos. Uh, the main the main drive spell you'll see her use is Kunzite or Rock. You can almost just call it the Rock. Uh, and Rock is a very fast. Oh no no she's still in <laughs> still in rib cage. <laughs> Uh, Rock is a very fast and very powerful overhead, plus on block, leads to full combos. Uh, and that's the one you'll typically see Nine use a lot as like a mix-up tool. Uh, you'll also see she has Fairy up right now. Fairy will do three delayed hits against the opponent. You typically most you typically see that one used on Oki a lot. Oh yeah, we're seeing Mana with Izanami. Uh, to kind of offset the you can't block while in bits, she has what's known as Ribcage. And Ribcage literally makes her immune, or it makes her guard point through any non-unblockable attack uh, at the cost of her barrier gauge. There we go, yeah, just uh, command grab it. Ooh, Remain's gonna spend the RC. A little bit of a gamble here. Well, speaking of gambling, I will set up gambling. Uh, I'll set up for top eight. <laughs> okay, but here we go. Yeah, just get the J to get in. The gambling gonna pay off for Remain's. We'll see here. Still very low on OD, but I mean, hey, you got the round. That's what matters. It's definitely a little, it definitely feels like a risk, but at least when, when you're in those, like, last hit situations, and you're kind of, like, really relying on your neutral to make sure you can get that hit, I mean, when you're playing 9, not 9 is really strong in neutral. She controls space just, like, so, so well. Sunset back. Thanks so much for claiming the code on that arena. Here we go. Oh, no. Big counter hit. Catching remains hitting something against that 6A. That's gonna be perfect for mana. Taking us to round number three. Looking to take us to a game three. See if that happens. A little big 2B at round star. 2B very strong pull for Izanami. Very low pro. Good range, good conversions, and very low profile as well. Here we go. Oh, yeah, ribcage pressure in the corner. There. Oh, excellent. OD at the row. Oh, no. That's gonna whip, but hey, maybe uh, whip some spell. I, I believe nine's OD. Isn't like all it does is, uh, I guess besides powering up her super, it, like applies the spell stocks on a wave. I actually don't remember what nine's OD does. But there we go. Okay, J air conversion. Oh, it doesn't look like nine can combo. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I guess technically in that case, you just do uh, what's it called, back throw, right? I would assume so, but Remains were just focusing on getting the throw. But they were mana gonna take game number two to tie the ramp, tie the games up, take us to game three. But uh, I mean, that is one thing again, like the the rib cage. Well, rib cage is really strong and really stupid and probably shouldn't be in the game. Uh, but again, it is still vulnerable to any kind of unblockable type moves. So again, like, uh, particularly the ones you'll see is like throws, command grabs, and burst. Uh, th those are the ones where it usually matters. Okay, we're going to fairy harassing mana a little bit. Yeah, multi-hits can also- multi-hits, uh, yeah, the bar it does drain barrier while ribcage is up, and for every hit, you typically don't want to hit Izanami a lot, but I mean, if you can drain some of the barrier, I uh, can do per- I uh, can, like, shred through it with multi-hits very fast. Uh, but typically if you are attacking barrier, it is a situation where Izanami can just, like, hit you through the guard point, so you gotta be careful. But yeah, I definitely imagine this seems a little rough for Izanami, at least just trying to navigate neutral. But here we go, still able to get in with the bits in the end, catching the recovery on remains. There we go, counter assault away, does not want to deal with Izanami in the corner, especially when mana has so much meter to work with. Full stick of butter on deck. There we go, double teleport away. There we go, that's just all the barrier for mana. There we go, oh, yeah, just special cancel RC. So even if that didn't hit, that was still going to be mana's turn anyways. And uh, mana gonna go on to set point now. After remains took game number one. Ooh, okay, big footsies with 2B again. Again, you're just trying to teleport away. Yeah, let's see, okay, big rock coming out. Gonna block that. That's one thing, if you just gotta, like, route into rock in pressure, it's definitely a lot easier to react to. Typically, uh, the situations where rock is hard to deal with is when 9 can both go into either 3C or, uh, uh, and that Yuji can also- 9 also does a lot of, like, funky resets. 
Uh, if we see Julio later in bracket, we'll probably get to show off some of those. There we go, actually. Get, okay. Get the forehead. Okay, hot, caught by the bits. He remains has to be careful. I mean, every little hit does add up. And oh yeah, you gotta be careful with uh, Navy pressure. And you can't block while in bits mode. They were RC. Oh no! Big drop from remains. And there we go. Yeah, nice punish with from mana. There we go. Oh no. Yeah, just had to go right to the ground. Already used the air dashes. Man, I'm gonna catch Remains and take the set two to one. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Again, like, also not the first time, like, uh, <laughs> you, you have donated either. So, again, it's like, it's, it's really, really appreciated the, the support. And again, like, I, I can't, I can't say it enough. Like, thank you so, so much. <laughs> uh, for, for not just today, but, like, all the other snowfields you have helped support as well, so. <laughs> It's uh, very, very much appreciated. Uh, I'm sorry, getting into our, our actual match here for, for heading into winner's round three. Uh, we have unit number 14 against Frozen Facade. Uh, what's it called? 14, extremely strong. Probably uh, one of the best new 12 players out here in North America. So some very strong results in Snowfield before. Uh, First of Sud, on the other hand, has been coming out here with Celica. Uh, has definitely made a few waves in Baraka, so I'm interested to see how this goes. Celica is also... I, actually, both these characters, I want to say, are like some of the rarer ones in the game. Uh, I mean, you'll see 14 and also Ruxia I'll play Mu12, and you'll see them around Netflix brackets every once in a while. Actually, not, not uh, decently often. Uh, uh, but yeah, in general, besides them, you don't really see new 12 too much. Uh, but I mean, same goes for Celica as well. Uh, Celica is generally considered a lot lower on most tier lists than people are for most Blaze Blue players. But I mean, at the same time, it's it's uh, it's Blaze Blue at the end of the day. You put in the effort. Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, people don't know how to fight your character. Uh, how how good your character is, does, how quote unquote good your character is, uh, does not matter. Ah, uh, well, let's see. 14 taking a pretty quick game number one here. We'll see if Frozen's able to bring it back at all. <laughs> yeah, cheering for Celica. I love to see. Let's see. Yeah, putting up the diamonds, trying to. Uh, Mood 12 can have really good space. Oh, okay. Maybe it's supposed to be an OD through the overhead, but hey, Frozen's gonna get the, uh, the burst right out of 14. Okay, well, let's see. Combo in the corner is looking good for 14. Just keeps it going. Okay, blocks the high, but oh no, yeah, still getting caught by the laser. He's gonna get a full conversion off of this. Sage? That's a meter. Okay, never mind. Not gonna kill. We'll get with the 2B. That could have been scary. And oh, okay, just another 2B. That's another round of fortune. Heading on the set point. And oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me, I, I burped a little right as well. Just A for the right. Oh my god! <laughs> Zay coming in with a big rain. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone. Bo Blaze, I agree with that statement. <laughs> Yo, welcome everyone. You, you are tuning in uh, to, to Snowfield Blaze from Central Fiction. <laughs> uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, well, one of, not, not to toot my horn, but one, one of, if not the largest uh, weekly CF events in North America. <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah, welcome everyone. We're just heading to winners around three here, with a uh, frozen facade looking to make this comeback against fourteen. But yeah, I, uh, thank you, thank you so, so much, Zeta. I, I hope your stream went well, and uh, welcome everyone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm Veneer Snowy. I normally uh, I run Blaze Blue every Friday here, as well as uh, I run Plus R and Exert alternating on Sundays as well. As well as sometimes variety stream. But yeah, again, thank you so so much and all. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Let's all watch some good Blaze Blue together. It's oh, okay. Has the cross up, up and oh, get, oh my God! She could actually kill off of this. Never mind. Stopping any potential comeback from Frozen right there. Uh, fourteen is gonna finish off our set with an Astral. As flashy as you can get out here.
So we're gonna have Jibcut coming up against Show Witcher. Jibcut, one, one of the uh, better bullets out here in North America. Got some pretty good results before. Of course, Show Witcher, uh, pretty consistently in these snowfield bracts, stun pretty well. I uh, usually get like, uh, I feel like kind of like just shy of top eight, which I mean, considering how, considering like the level of competition uh, and how many strong players typically enter these brackets, uh, certainly really good. So interesting to see how this goes. And I can imagine this could be very dangerous for Ragna. Probably not like that bad of a matchup. Uh, but with the way Bullet is, Bullet is kind of a, uh, I guess maybe not like full grappler because she's definitely a lot more mobile than someone like Tager, for example. Ah, but oh man, she has the explosive damage you can come to expect from some of these characters. Oh my god, oh my god, 5C ID? <laughs> okay. And oh no, okay, imagine that 2B going right under the gauntlet of Hades. Ah, uh, but yeah, Rag Ragnar, the, the pro tag of this game. Uh, a lot of his mix is like kind of basic, has a couple like decent overheads and 6B and gauntlet Hades, uh, which you don't really want to use too often, but like can work every once in a while. Uh, though a lot of Ragnar's mix just comes from kind of like frame trapping and trying to like take his turn back. Here we go, oh my god, yeah. Was, they were seeing the big explosive damage coming out from Jibber. Oh my god, the dropped combo, 4.1k. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. OD right through the 6, a. Eh? Okay, this could be pretty big for Showitra. Ragnar definitely gets very big reward off of these OD combos. And 5B starter is very good as well. Yeah, we're going right into the super. And while Ragnar thinks he does get health healed off of that super and a lot of his drive moves. Uh, but the off the offhand of that is that Ragna has the, is tied for lowest health in the game. So if you're actually getting those hits, uh, you can like offset how bad your health is by healing some of it back. Uh, but if you just kind of like get hit three times in a row, you can just die. Uh, especially with a character like Bullet, which we're seeing here. There we go with the Super Jibka. It's gonna take game number one. Hellfire. Yo, let's go redeeming the Hellfire. We literally got the Hellfire here. <laughs> let's see, I think just taking a second. Hooligan, thank you so much for the fall. Appreciate it. Yeah, all that healing from OD and for what? Oh, yo, Light the Iron Man. Thank you so much for the fall. <laughs> Appreciate it. Why do I actually have to play Blaze? Well, I don't know, Jason. You voluntarily entered the bracket. I can't answer that. Yeah, bottom, bottom five bullet. True, true, true. <laughs> Victor definitely not slept on. Guys, <laughs> are perfect. God, see? Yeah, Jibka just hanging back. Oh, big JC counter hit. Okay, not getting... Oh, never mind, actually get the, the dash 5B after. Actually, relatively low damage. Uh, I'm definitely enter a... <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, empty jump 2B here. It's looking pretty good for show. It just means one more hit, but... I mean, as, as Ragna against Bullet, definitely don't want to count yourself out. Oh, okay. Jibka goes for the backdash. I don't know what Jibka was maybe trying to bait out. Backdash is definitely a little bit dangerous against someone like Ragna, because because Ragna 5B is just like what eight frames active. Yo, Frozen Facade coming in twelve dollars added to the mansion. <laughs> Thank you so so much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's generous donations y'all y'all have contributed today. Twelve dollars for losing to me. Twelve. <laughs> Dude, what if I started doing that? Like you, you, you lose to a. <laughs> if you lose to Moo or Moo on stream, you gotta pay that character's number, man. <laughs> okay, gets the dash five C pickup. Nice nightmare edge ender. Big Ragnar. Ragnar Ragna is generally like higher average damage than. Or I guess like pretty consistently high damage. Let's see, oh, okay, Jibby gets the jump in. Oh no, drop the 6 speed? <laughs> yes, I've got Moo 200 in this game, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, oh no! Shoujo trying to do the empty jump DP. I, 
goddammit, Ragnar players. Oh, there we go. Mashing against the OD. Showing you, showing no fear. A uh, Jibka pop an OD with a full stick of butter. And show it just like, I'm just hitting 2A. <laughs> like, I'm right. What are you going to do against 2A? Yeah, in 2A, I trust. <laughs> As I show what you're saying. I mean, hey, it works. <laughs> Uh, Oregon and Nerf never played? Uh, what round is that? Uh, I can quickly check loser side bracket to make sure. Uh, no, it looks like, uh... It looks like they started? Okay, here guys, we had in a game number three here. Oh, okay, wake up DP. That's the first one we've seen from Jibka. Okay, he's not gonna get the cross up JD. Okay, okay, get some with the JD. No combo, a little bit too high. No, no, no! Probably not expecting the DP there. Unfortunately, not getting a... Not getting the big punish you can normally get against something like DP. <laughs> but just 5C punishes from, like, bullets. Like, you're getting, like, 5K minimum. Honestly, with full meter, maybe you could've just killed. Oh, but they were DBRC just to be after. And Showicha, after going down one game, is now on set point. Jason, you can knowledge check people with, like, pretty much everyone in this game. I think Naoto would suit you, but, like, every character's got, like, a layer one you gotta get past. Let's see, okay, it waits up, blocks the JD. Just waiting patiently. Doesn't want to get a little too, probably doesn't want to get too overzealous. But play, I need Jibka to win. I mean, we'll see, Jibka's still a pretty strong player. Like, you never, despite show what you're being on set point, or on set point, you never want to count out uh, a bullet player. <laughs> this character is like way too explosive to ever think they're, they're, full, they're fully lost until it's over. Here we go, yeah, Jibka on full meter. Like, this, this is even. Okay, Pops OD. No, oh, the run up 6A. Not afraid of any mash. I mean, knows the 5C is whiffing there. No, Shoja mashing that burst. That's it. It looks like Jibka was trying to bait it out, but didn't get the bl didn't block in time. We'll see. Oh, no. Gets in the no cross up IADJD that time. Okay, this is not looking good for Sho Shoja. Yeah, the burst not paying off. Here we go. Oh, big 2B round start. Okay, gets the heat set up. Yeah, this is not looking good. Show it you. Might not even get burst back by the end of this. Uh, Jibka, on the other hand, doing very fine there. Yeah, so he gets another 2B starter. Has the heat to spend this time. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, show it you. I mean, we'll see. It's still wrong. Oh, no. DPRC. Jibka pulling it off on his own. And with a perfect... Jibka gonna bring it back and take the set two to one. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've started Jason, so so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, sorry, we're, we're heading into our, our winners' quarters match here with Fazama against Metal Wolf. Been a hot minute since I've seen Metal Wolf here in Sinopia, but great to have him back. Very, very strong my player from Mexico. Ah, uh, coming up against Fuzz. Yo, I can't... I'm sorry, I can't tell what that is. That, that's a green character, probably. But thank you so much for playing the code on that terrain. Yo, and uh, I think that's Josh Ruby. That's not Josh Ruby. I'm a code of brother. Thank you so much for playing the code. I mean, here we go. Oh, yeah. Spirit Toss can be a little bit dangerous. My in this game is like... <laughs> Uh, you'll, you'll kind of think about like, uh, oh, this, 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 this is this, the cool mechanic that this character has. Uh, I guess Mai has like whiff cancels and special Gatlin routes. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you'll see Fuzz on the other hand playing Hazama. Have those big chain stocks that he can send out. And then a, a variety of follow-ups he can do to either, uh, like, various ways to approach or just to retract the chain uh, on follow-up. And Lumen Suits, thanks so much for the follow appreciate it. Might is the character of all time. I, I can get behind that. Here we go, Fuzz. He's in the Hotenge in the combo. Yeah, no, no, no hero burst out here. I think Metal Wolf uh, <laughs> knows better than to take that risk. 
Oh, uh, yeah, both of these players here. Kind of crazy seeing them fighting winner's quarters here. Uh, cause I mean, both of these players, like, very consistently get top eight in Snowfield here. Uh, but now they're fighting to get inside on winners right now. Yeah, Haas Chains are also, like, really burst safe. <laughs> so definitely, like, in, in general, like, this character is, like, really scary. Very nice jumping right out of the flip overhead. Oh my god! <laughs> Just throwing out him at Yari does not care about stance. Okay, yeah, I guess the tech against the command dash attempt. My also does have a command dash. That is this one thing. Uh, pretty much any command dash thing she does is gonna be minus on block. Uh, but she does have Himayuri. Uh, she can do to fall, like, go right out of it. So if the opponent does try to mash, uh, you can punish pretty hard. And, oh, what an excellent 5A anti-air! Punish the dive! Or was that... Was that two? Was that two? See, okay. <laughs> the big ant here. Never mind. The big ant here. Regardless of what it was, to stuff out the dive attempt. Dive can be pretty good to get in with my. If they do block it on the ground, it is plus on block. Uh, but you can contest it with an ant. You can anti air it. Uh, if you know what's coming out. So, yeah, definitely gotta be careful against that. Yeah, trying to get in with the a dive. We'll see, okay, just trying to quasi jump out. Throwing out the spear toss. I mean, it's throwing out if, if Buzz wants to hang back. Yeah, we're like, oh, big 5A ant here. Cosmo's not the only character with big 5A ant here. And Thorn the Ladder, thank you. Thorn the Ladder, thank you so much for playing or coming to code the following. Really appreciate it. Here we go, okay, big chain to get in. Okay, now we're gonna mean here. Just go for the burst there. Wants to keep the corner, and there we go. Okay, just gonna go for the jump and no attempt to punish against the EA. Okay, jumps over. There we go. Big JC after. Big C dives. Okay, him here just goes for the 2A. Here we go. Big combo off of this, because going right into 5A after. Yeah, putting up the staggers. Plus trying to jump out. Oh no, the 5A just barely too far away. And oh yeah, double super. This should kill. Yeah, here we go. 2 1 4 D, 2 B. Oh no! <laughs> Metal Wolf drops the combo. But there we go. The IAD fuzz just a little bit too late on that 2C. And there we go. Metal Wolf staying in this. Oh, the stance up or catching the jump in for Metal Wolf. It oh, drops the combo. Okay, but here we go. Okay, C Dive not getting punished that time. Okay, just find a fully charged spear catch in the air. There we go. Oh, yeah, big whiff punish. And that's actually another thing that can be a little bit dangerous when Hazama's doing these, like, neutral falls in. My 5C pulls her hitbox just, like, a tiny bit backwards in, like, the higher part of it. Or, the, like, the part of her hitbox that's, like, up and forward, it just, like, is gone during five, the start of 5C. Uh, so it does, you have to, like, be careful uh, against, like, kind of neutral falling in against her. Uh, cause you can't space it well, where you just like completely avoid like a J2C. And you get 5C punish, which is very good for me. Oh uh, no, Metal Wolf mashing something on Wake Up. <laughs> Flip is definitely uh, a little dangerous to do against Hazama when... I mean, Hazama definitely has things like, oh, okay, drop, this is Metal Wolf's chance. Okay, never mind, just caught by the chain in the air. And Fuzz, on set point now. <laughs> One round away from 2-0 in Metal Wolf this early in bracket. Oh, okay. Big SXC. And y'all, the Noel profile picture. Thank you so much for playing with the code on Match Arena. Yeah, we're seeing, uh, what's it called? Uh, Flip Overhead has reverse proration. So, like, kind of any combo that does go, like, uses it does so much damage. Here we go. Okay, no burst coming out from Fuzz. Okay, probably made me wake up OD. Yeah, wake up OD. Nose, ha, okay, yeah. That battle of all excellent empty jump right into the throw. Doesn't want to give Fuzz any chance here. It's almost a perfect there. Gonna tie up the games. And Frozen, thank you so much for claiming the code on Mansion Arena. So let's see, it's one to one right now. Interested to see how this goes. Oh shit, yo, Seb coming in with a $10. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> also, the comment I can see on that, she said, Noel is in BBCF, so BBCF is cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Seb, for the donation. Very, very much appreciated. <laughs> Prize pool looking ever so big today. Here we go. Okay, Fuzz using the Nagito for Melty Blood Color for a power up in game three here. Oh, let's see. Okay, drops. Okay, gets the... Oh! Okay, burst right in time as the Hotengen comes out. 
Let's see, okay, flip overhead, flip overhead's like plus a million, so you guys gotta keep blocking after that. No, there we go. Yeah, catch us fuzz doing something. Him and Yuri, maybe catch and jump start up there. RC's gonna get a full combo. There we go. Okay, able to jump in time right out of the flip overhead. That will be a little bit greedy going for plus frames there. And here we go, fuzz with 50 meter. This should be it. Yeah, just send out the super. Gonna give Metal with a little bit of more OD back, but Fuzz once again on set point. <laughs> the light green profile picture. Thank you so much for playing the corner match, right? Yeah, football is like plus. It's like seven. It's seven or eight. I keep forgetting which one it is, but it's like it's, it's my turn. <laughs> like it's not just like plus one or two. It's like plus eight. <laughs> That's a lot. But it's also very slow. So to, a lot of times, like on if you're just, like going into it on block. Uh, and oh, big punish on the chain with the dot. Here we go, into the corner we go. Okay, oh, tries to do like 5C dash throw. But yeah, fuzzy jump a stance. And oh no, tries to hit something. Caught by the immediate chain in J2C. Here we go, okay, big damage for Fuzz out here. Yeah, JC's Jamajan in the corner. No, no. Yeah, the delay tech caught. Or is that a roll attempt? <laughs> it looked like it might have been a roll, but caught by the stance. Okay, gets it with the JB. Oh no, Metal pop at the 3C after. Oh, Blue Beat's coming out. Metal just not even teching now. This is still a very doable situation. And oh, the Super gonna get the punish on the stance. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, that's the burst from Fuzz. Okay, we're in a big scramble situation now. Okay, RC d does not want to give up his turn. Okay, command grab isn't enough. Fuzz, don't drop your combo. And there we go. Hanging on till the very end, and Fuzz is gonna win 2 1 over Metal Wolf. We got Julio Prevera versus Mako T out here. Vancouver AFGC. I'll say Racine AFGC. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. So, yeah, both of these characters. Uh, so, we've seen both of these characters on here today, but it's the first time seeing these players on here today. Uh, and yeah, both of these players just love going for resets in their combos. Um, Julio, you'll see it more happen in the corner, uh, where it, like, kind of suits Nine a lot more. Uh, make with you kind of go for it anywhere on screen. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll see definitely the big resets coming out from Nine. Oh, no! The, uh, never mind. The Kunzai just in tech right the ring. You'll see if we can get the, potentially get this prize pool up to 800. That'd be kind of crazy. Julio just dashing around as they love to do as Nine. Yeah, there we go. RC to get in. Okay, got a rock in the back pocket. So you have to be careful. At oh, excellent. Punish on that fireball. <laughs> was that maybe pressure into the electric ball? <laughs> was that like the, the big brain? I'm, I'm setting up this combo ahead of time. <laughs> Actually crazy out here for, for Julio. <laughs> got to rise. Oh my. What was that rising jam? I hope he's got Golden Tager at some point. Mega D does a lot of funky things. Usually it's not Golden Tager, but it's not out of the question. Time to start the tile with it. it still works every time. <laughs> Dude, Rising J with Coconut is always such a funny button. Okay, but here we go in the corner. Okay, just caught by 2B. <laughs> Julio is usually one, uh... Julio is a very good player, let me preface this, but Julio really loves to 6-6 six, six out of the corner, for better or worse. <laughs> uh, doesn't work out every time. If the opponent is able to meet you, Julio is significantly worse on defense. So it's a pretty scary situation. Oh, the JB just catching. <laughs> the Julio trying to take to the skies. Oh, yeah, I think the did Banana can use Golden Tanger a lot. That's funny. Okay, well, let's see. Make it to off a pretty nice start here. Yeah, just going through. Ooh, okay, big counter hit with JB or 5B. Okay, we're already Julio gonna use the burst. Okay, just trying to dash right through the pressure. Oh no! Wow! Oh my god! Pet getting caught out of the stun. Immediately mashing right through that 6B. Yeah, see, okay. 5B just gonna get teched right through. There we go, fairy hit. Okay, Crimson Raider Ender. Okay, Rock gonna keep Mako T in the corner. Let's see, okay, double overhead knocking on top of the third overhead's gonna do it. That's the burst from Mako T. Okay, approaching with the electric ball. Okay, not trying to mess with Fidget Spinner at all. Okay, let's see. Big was it JB starter? Okay, yeah. No, no, Julio. I don't know what Julio got caught by there. Uh, maybe like the no cross. I'm just caught by the jam session on wake up. And that is gonna be game number one to Lord Mako T.
Oh, it was Tim all, or uh, Tempest Tim, right? Another Kokonoi player, also a Golden Tiger user. <laughs> yeah, I definitely see, like, the, the big thing with Mako is just, like, Mako Ma just the hella loves going for resets. And uh, you can definitely see some, like, <laughs> like the amount of red in someone's health. It's spooky sometimes. Okay, let's see. Okay, just pop in the OD. Not gonna catch the spell switch. Okay, and they uh, rock in the back pocket. Definitely a very scary situation against, especially someone like Julio that loves going for those resets. You always gotta be wary of that. Uh... That's it. Tempest Tim's guys, how the hell yeah? That's, that's nice to hear. Definitely nice to hear. Uh... <laughs> Blazable's resources helping people get into this game. Let's see. Oh, tries to bait the burst that wasn't there. Or maybe a DPRC potential attempt, but uh, not gonna matter in the end. Uh, Maker Team gonna steal another round right there, finish it off with the Super Bowl. Give Julio a little bit extra OD, but hey, we keep it simple, confirm these kills. Here we go, we are heading in a uh, potential last round as Lord Maker is on set point. So this could be pretty scary. Is that a fall guy in jail? That's just a Twitch emo. Oh, cool. <laughs> Can't stand this mantra. <laughs> is it because nine things or just Coconoa? This is just best of three. This is the winner's quarters. This is to get into top eight. <laughs> Which is just great. Like, if y'all know these players, like, these are two extremely, extremely strong players. Uh, Curry Pot calling it with the rain. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll get to that in one second. Potential last hit scenario for Julio right here. I imagine the matchup isn't bad for nine, but you're still fighting Kokonoe. Okay, let's see. You also gotta be aware of Super Bowl is a thing here. Okay, get Bates out the EA. Julio just needs one more hit here. Has a hundred meter on deck. Okay, dashes right through the Super Bowl. We'll see Super Bowl is still coming. It's not gonna matter. Nine is far enough away. And let's see, keeps the combo going. No, does it kick? But, oh my god, the 4 hey after the jump in. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Kareem Kar Kar Pond, thank you so much for the red welcome, everyone. The nearest you know. <laughs> Just tune in for Widow's Quarters here. Uh, with potential last round scenario with Julio and Lord Mako T. And also Schneider, thank you so much for playing the Kota Match Arena. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, welcome. I run Blaze Blue here every Friday, Guilty Gear on Sundays. I do a little bit of variety streaming during the week sometimes as well. And oh my god, run under throw! Okay, Julio does have burst. I mean, probably wants to pop OD. Just, I mean, like, burst probably isn't gonna do much at this point. <laughs> when you literally die in the next hit. That's okay, yeah, blocks the fidget spinner. Okay, D oh my god, that was a risky DP. Okay, okay, Reby catch, catches with the 60. Oh, no, a little bit too far away. Blocks the Navy pressure. We'll see in Mako T. Also 100 meter on deck. And oh, no. The 2B. Just gonna catch Julio's feet there. And Mako T gonna move on 2 to 0. We got our, our first match of top 8 here. Uh, with number 14 and Fazama. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Mew 12 against Hazama. Uh, it seems interesting. Uh, cause Hazama is like usually pretty content to hang back throughout chains. It's like generally pretty safe. Uh, definitely like can't, it's definitely difficult to like cover everything against Hazama trying to approach against you. Uh, but like 14 on the other hand, if you, uh, give like Mew 12, like, uh, time to like just hang back, set up the diamonds. You never get a lot of space control. <laughs> Still okay. The clash against the stance low against the DP. Yeah, the big like diamond encasing for move 12. But that is her DP. And let's see here. It was looking pretty good right now. Okay, yeah, 14 has the corner. Okay, empty jump low. It's gonna get blocked by Fuzz. Y'all, the laser's just forcing Fuzz to block here in the corner. No way to escape. No, oh, no, just caught by the overhead. Is that 6B? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm assuming that's like 6B or 6A or something. Okay, we'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, OD, a Hotengen. Fuzz loves going for that. Uh, Hotengen normally is like a, a combo super. Is this... This just kills. <laughs> that's just death. <laughs> I just realized. Say <laughs> Jam. Uh, it will kill. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, Hotengen is normally, it's a four frame startup. Normally it's used as a combo super, but in OD it gets invulnerable on startup. And I definitely think, uh, compared to a lot of other Hazabas, 
Uh, Fuzz is very willing to hit OD Hotenju. And I mean, if you're, if, like, it's, it's a four frame button, which is extremely fast. And I mean, if you think it's gonna hit, uh, <laughs> I, I guess that is your fastest button. I mean, like, dispose. The move is an alternative to playing Naoto. They're two very different characters, but Mu12 is a very underrepresented but extremely strong character. Definitely wouldn't uh, discourage anyone from trying out the character. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, move. Uh, 14, a look in the brain. Back. Oh, okay! Okay, throws out the JB, doesn't get a full combo there. He's on the verge of taking a perfect. We'll see, Fuzz still not at all out of this. Okay, yeah, 6A. Should be it. Yeah, 50 meter just in case it doesn't kill. Oh, big combo. Juggling with the lasers as well. <laughs> okay, finish with the super. I don't know if that was necessary, but hey, flashy finishing. Okay, rounds tied up a 1 to 1. So he's gonna take our first game here. He just throws out sword on round start. Generally, like, like pretty good range plus one on the walk. Don't really get too much off of it. Not bad. Okay, gets it with the JC. So, okay, JB just yeah, putting up the stagger pressure. Okay, locks that overhead that time. Okay, set up the lasers. Oh, the laser is catching Fuzz on the approach. Okay, tries to- oh yeah, very unfortunate, tries to go for the tick throw, but excellently timed OD, gonna make that completely aware. Uh, like, intentional or not? <laughs> Definitely like, oh, there's, there's like that oh shit moment, you see the throw whip against OD, but oh my god, big contest against the chain follow-up. Catching Fuzz, trying to just immediately get in there. Okay, okay, oh, overhead, RC low. Well, let's see. Yeah, pop the OD. Lock out the burst right before Fuzz gets it back. Here we go. Spend the meter as well. 14 gonna take game number one there. Yeah, no, no doubt in my mind that is killing. So yeah, taking the lead here. Let's see what Fuzz is able to do about it in game two. It definitely seems, I mean, Fuzz, Fuzz still strong player, still took that one round. No doubt in my mind, he is still absolutely in this. Her design is so, yeah, her design definitely is so. Okay, well, see Fuzz hanging back, oh, okay. Get a little bits here and there. Yeah, a lot of little hits. These are adding up against Buzz. We have a new theme playing. <laughs> Give him forward. Give him, him 14 anything Murakuma related. That's just a power up. You can't let her do that. That's yeah, Buzz is trying to hang back. I mean, again, uh, Hazma is usually very content to just hang back, play it safe without chains. But uh, you're playing against a character that uh, kind of thrives in that environment. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> Jay-Z just beating out the dash follow-up. <laughs> was that? I think I thought DRC follow-up. One way, like, halts and then tries to cross it. That's the old pop in the OD. Sending out the super. All the lasers coming out. Doesn't catch Fuzz, though. <laughs> Still creating a lot of screen control. You're like, ah, oh, yeah. Fuzz looks, again, like, normally in the air, it's like a lot of characters really can't contest that space, but Mu 12 is not one of those characters. This is looking real good right now. Look at this. So much damage in the corner. Not killing, but kind of one more hit for 14. Should be able to do it. But here we go. Cosmo and OD. But immediately it pops the reversal. Super. And 14 heading on to set point now. Getting it. Wants to get into winner's finals here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Definitely very, again, with every win they got, I mean, prize pool is looking extra big tonight. With every win they get, they're just getting such a, a much larger chunk of that prize pool. Okay, let's see. Well, Fuzz, I mean, Fuzz is looking to bring this back. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, 2B. Oh, no. Okay, that's a TRM, actually. Very nice awareness from Fuzz. And here we go, going on to round three. Okay, let's see, get the other PRTG. Okay, have the laser set up. Okay, air dash overhead. Watch his pause here, adding up the damage. Fuzz is gonna get OD back now. 
Potentially. I mean, I don't know if Fuzz wants to pop OD. Okay, never mind. It's gonna pop it right there, but it uh, doesn't look like you're gonna get much. Oh, okay, 2C. Never mind. But yeah, immediately after that OD's over, 14's just popping burst. Here we go with the R high overhead RC. And here we go. Let's see, it's looking really good for 14 right now. Khan just needs a couple of clean hits. One clean conversion, a couple random hits. Kind of all she needs right now. Watsy, okay, big chain counter hit. No reset throw, but Fuzz getting OD back. And oh no! Tries to move forward, but caught by the laser combo right into the 2B. Number 14, gonna take the set 2 to 0. Okay, the other side of winner's Sam is here. Both of them competing. They wanna get that spot to fight number 14 in winner's finals. These two have gone back and forth so much before here in the snowfield. This can just go either way, no matter what. <laughs> uh, so they, I th I'm pretty sure Dawn won the last time these two played. I don't remember exactly the score that it was. Okay, oh, track <laughs> trade against the fidget spinner. Gets in with the J, the the blowback edge J A F. Normally I'd call it increase, but blowback edge is too funny. Hit 2A mash. Dawn just gonna roll right out of the mid screen. Okay, pop on the incoming 6B. Yeah, 6B a little bit more tricky as an incoming mix up. More to deal with on the mental stack. Okay, tries to level it. Just immediate dead angle away. Okay, gets the teleports behind me. It's not fall really. See, lead light my counter assault <laughs> and my burst right after the other. Yeah, lead light can be used very well. And, oh my god. Hey god, the fury swipe started working out so well. And there we go. Well, speaking of using lead light to bait things out, Don using that excellently to bait out the Super Bowl. And Timo, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, I've lost the fury swipe. It's going to allow Don to approach. Yeah, just throwing out the stagger with the doll. And this is the first time we're seeing Don on here today. Uh, but if you know, like, the way Dawn plays, Dawn is, like, very experienced with Relis, usually, usually has really good awareness, uh, what's it called, or has really good awareness, uh, of Doll meter, and is very willing to spend things like OD or meter, uh, to make sure that the Doll meter does not go away, and is also very, very aware of Mako T's tricks. Uh, so it's not gonna get caught by the resets as easily uh, as most players might. Yeah, so definitely expecting. Uh... <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay, I was wondering if I missed something. Oh, okay, so thank you, Thanks, Snow. Really good seed. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. okay. Then probably Zyro showed for a match when I say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, you enjoyed your matches, but thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your night. Okay, here we go. Mago Day, last bit of life left. <laughs> Seeing if they can make this comeback. Okay, Super comes out, that gets baited. Yeah, caught by the jam session. Okay, oh, no more barrier for Mako T. Okay, gets it with the fidget spinner. Pro oh, no RC. Actually, I mean, guys, plus a block. Oh, wait. No need to RC. Here we go. Actually, wait. Meter and OD. Oh, no. Tries to go for the reset. Um, Dawn is ready to mash that super. At the right point, too. That super is not easy to... Wait, it's like, it's like a half... Or it's like quarter circle, half circle back? I think? Uh, not, not the easiest input. <laughs> Or at least not the easiest one to like mash in the middle of pressure. So uh, let's see what Mega T is able to do in game number two here. No one wants to see me in CS2. I mean, according to all my friends, there wasn't a good version of Blaze Blue until CF, so. I imagine, yeah, I imagine most people don't want to play Continuum Shift 2. That's the old just mad. Oh, okay, just cat frame trap with a 2A. And there we go. Don gonna take a perfect 69 as well. Perfect 69. That's certainly a round to take. And now Don on set point now. Okay, let's see. Mag Magrity is still like very capable of taking. Ooh, okay, Don just not blocking a wake up. Got caught by the 5A. 
Okay, yeah, blocks the 6B. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, tries to summon the doll, but the 3C is gonna work out. Okay, just all the stagger. Oh, crash trigger. Okay, 2A after that. That's gonna be the burst from Dawn. Let's see. Okay, catches with the invite health. Rolls for a bit. Oh, no. Caught by the Fairy Swipes. This is actually really good for Dawn. Yeah, you, as you can see, Fairy Swipes is a uh, very strong. You don't really see it as a starter. <laughs> Often for Aurelius, but uh, when it hits as a starter, it's very good. And another lead light. But oh, no, the throw. <laughs> not time. Not just not right. Let's see, Dawn with the other 50 meter, this should be it, actually. Let's see, yeah, gotta respect Mako T for attempting the burst. Well, that burst safe there, and Dawn gonna take the set 2-0. to I don't think I've seen this before. Um, okay. Let me quickly, uh, here, 4T, thank you so much for claiming the code on a match arena. Also quickly set up gambling for you all. As this set is going underway. Not entirely sure why Jibka went Rodman. Uh, I definitely think this, uh, this definitely seems a little rough, well, like, far from, it's not, like, the worst. But it definitely seems a little rough for, uh, Rodna, but, uh, Jibka's defense is doing pretty good so far, blocking the rocks. Okay, dash forward, just mashing that DP. Okay, baits out the DP, but does not get the punish. What is it, uh, 5 like, 8 frames, I think? Uh, you need a 7 frame button to punish DP, and you have to IB it to get the 7 frame punch. Okay, counter assault away, get some space. Has Julio in the corner, wow, okay. Julio's throwing out the fairy. <laughs> but, uh, Jimmy just get the big 5B punish, and, uh, okay, use the crush trigger, get as much damage as possible here. Okay, oh no, the blood scythe drops! Let's see, oh, okay, 6, 6 sages right in there. That's gonna be it. Yeah, I, I imagine that was, uh, probably a Kunzite attempt. Probably not fairy, yeah, mid-screen. Okay, let's see, okay, big JB, Crimson Raider, oh no, it's gonna hit Jibka out of the corner. <laughs> not what Julio wanted, another DP coming out for Jibka. Look, despite what, my, uh, what I initially thought, this, these uh, gambling predictions are definitely closer than I thought. <laughs> A lot of people believing in the Rog, uh, the Jibka Rog move. Okay, Navy pressure. Throwing all the Navy pressures. Oh my god, big 6C. Okay, 5A ant here. No combo. And there we go. Just gets in with the JC. That's gonna be game number one to, uh, to Julio. And oh my god, yo, TNT coming in with a sub just as we're heading into game number two. From Yu-Gi-Oh! Lotus Fargus to go. I'll the luck of it before I go to bed. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh... Oh, like, uh, thank you so, so much. Uh, eight months. That's a lot of months. <laughs> thank you so, like, uh, thank, thank you so, so much. I very, very much appreciate the, the continued support. <laughs> Such a long time, and I en enjoy your emotes as well. Really appreciate it. <laughs> see, as we head into game two, okay, yeah, the five, and the double dash. Jipka not gonna catch that Julio. Now has him in that corner. <laughs> it's definitely looking rough right now. Let's see, oh no, 6A, yeah, just catching the IAD. 6A just covers that, like, 6A just covers that space so well. Right, it's like, again, with, like, Ragna. Uh, it, like, it definitely seemed pretty rough. You know, I'm, I'm surprised, like, no Naoto. Uh, I don't know how Bullet does here. That's okay, another 6A coming out. <laughs> Okay, looking good. Oh, okay, tries to go for an unblockable attempt, but Jipka's jumping out of there just in time. Okay, and let's see here. And yeah, there we go, just gets in after. <laughs> Kunzaita finish it off. Perfect. Uh, that was gonna be a 2 0 for Julio Prevera. Okay, well, we'll see. Heading in here. I'm curious, this doesn't feel. I don't think it's like. It's interesting. Spirit Toss, I, like, I know Metal Wolf is definitely a fan of Spirit Toss. Depending on the matchup, it's like sometimes high risk, sometimes it isn't. Uh, but in this matchup, the way Hawkman works, you can stay at the bottom instead of the regular meter. Uh, I, I've seen, okay, I've seen Ryuk uh, Ryukusim, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's her name? Taukaka before. That's the other character. Uh, but what's it called? The way Hawkman works, it's kind of every metered thing Hawkman wants to do. 
And oh, Axel, okay, using dive RC. Good, okay, doesn't get too much. And oh, yeah, J falling J D reads some really what's going for that. But yeah, everything Hakuman does, you'll see every like metered option that Hakuman does, uh, cost with like stars at the bottom left, as opposed to like kind of portions of the regular meter. Yeah, it robs you blind, yeah. With the, with the way Hakuman works, uh, if Hakuman wants to, like, it has to, Hakuman has a lot of stars, uh, and especially in OD, and, like, wants to cash out, Hakuman is, like, one of the characters that, like, consistently gets the most Twitter clips in this game, I'd, I'd say, is how I describe it. Okay, all popping the OD, but oh, there we go! Yeah, okay, Mel just hopping in with the JC, no fear at all. Okay, no, okay, we're doing the dive on wake up. Dive actually is like decently good against Hakuman. Oh my god, smashing the 2A there. <laughs> There's the Hakuman mashing, but it's not a drive. God, see. And yeah, that's the one thing. With Hakuman, Hakuman has really slow mobility. Has like a little hop dash, definitely a slower air dash. Uh, but if Hakuman, Hakuman can cut projectiles. Uh, and oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, big X into the flip overhead. This is doing a lot of damage. I got the flip overhead, if you're able to get it in a combo, uh, it does, what's it called? It has reverse proration. So it increases the damage of the next hit. And here we go, okay, yeah, throw combo here. Okay, and double, double super? Okay, no, just spend one super. Well, let's see. Okay, R seed, but that's still going to cut Meta Wolf there. Big 4.2k, and still spending. We're in OD. This is still going, but no drops the combo! Drops the combo! <laughs> oh no. And there we go. Just throws out the Yanagi. Going right through. I'm pretty sure Yanagi is full unblockable, right? Charges forward with the shield. Okay, there we go. JC on Roundstar. Uh, let's see. Okay, get the 2B pickup after. Okay, oh no, yeah, just mad. The 5A stagger catches Lucas and hitting something. And there we go. Doing the uh, the flurry rushes in the uh, looks like C dive there as the ender because the the regular ender is like just does, does not work against Hakumi. I don't know why. That's oh yeah, that's gonna be a punish. You gotta make sure dive can charge enough to get like the the shockwave hit on the ground. Uh, but if not, uh, B and C dive are both very punishable. And there we go. Okay, just the drive. Oh, go, go, goes for the drive punish because doesn't have a lot of stars. I guess. I won't pretend to know a lot about Hakuman, uh, but that seems kind of, that was a way bigger punish. I guess if, if you want to spend OD, but I know what you can get with that little stars. And, oh, okay. <laughs> so it was right in with the flip. I actually manages to punish the Yanagi. And Metal Wolf is going to take game number one. Ryukasa might have also, uh, no, no, uh, no disrespect. I, I don't mean to disrespect Ryukasa, but, uh, in case Ryukasim is like not ready to punish that move because what's it called? Yeah, Hakuman gets Magatama's a lot faster in OD. So might have been able to pop OD. But was maybe worried about like popping OD at the right time. Because you can ODR right through like when Mai comes down. Uh, I know that because I've had it happen to me. Uh, and it's really scary and you take a lot of damage. But even with like no stars at the start, I don't know how much Hakuman can get off of that. Uh, but yeah, also, that move, it's, it's minus, like, 52, but it's definitely very weird to punish, because she, like, hops back for, like, a full second. Got you. Oh my gosh, mash on the 6, eh? That's the media. No, okay, there we go. Okay, actually, no confirm there, and okay! Okay, interesting JB air to air. Oh, let's see, okay. There we go. Oh, no punish there. I forget what that move's called. There we go. Okay, get the tipper of, uh, get the tipper of Himiyuri. Let's see. Oh, tries. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. See Himiyuri. It just waits for Ryukusen to land. Goes for the throw. I mean, I, I, I say, oh, no. Oh, okay. Fat Fingers gets the crush trigger instead. <laughs> that was definitely, uh, with, like, one of my staple commentaries. And it pops OD, but, oh, just not in time. Metal of, okay, oh my god, that was almost death right there. But there we go, jumping right over. JC gonna punish the 2D. Oh my god, that was a scramble and a half right there. I don't know what was happening. There we go, yeah, also burst used for Ryukasim. Uh, well, as powerful as Hakuman's burst is, or uh, how, how powerful his OD is, it can be very scary using burst, and uh, if it doesn't work out like it did there, it can be very costly. Yeah, we're seeing the C-Dive get used. 
Not as good knockdown. Okay, double flip just right into the row. And again, like Ryukasim has like showed a lot of willingness to use uh like the drives as either an anti-air or a jump in even as an anti-air bait. So Metal Wolf going for a lot of these throws in these jump scenarios is uh, working out very well. Let's see, waiting it out. There we go. Excellent. The double flip to bait out the drive. Okay, let's see. Yeah, C dive just get out of the corner. Metal Wolf just one hit away. And then very Oh no! Our seed! Oh, there we go. Happy a little resets. Catches the jump with the IED air throw. And that is gonna be 2-0 for Metal Wolf. And we're going to Losers Quarters with Pazama and Julio Crevera. So, I, I'm pretty sure last time these two fought, it was very close. Unless these two just happened to fight last, uh, last snow field. And I just forgot. I'm definitely expecting a good set between these two. <laughs> okay, just caught with a 2A. Again, Julio sometimes just doesn't block on win. <laughs> but at the same time, as long as Julio gets, like, one hit... Uh, sometimes they just, like, carry that into an entire lane. Okay, maybe Crusher getting blocked. Okay, JA counter hit. Didn't get too much. Okay, blocks the Kunze. Blocks the Navy Crusher. Oh, no! Is that supposed to be, like, delayed OD? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Auto Burst Bay, not gonna matter, Fuzz. Okay, getting the side switch here. Has Julio in the corner. And let's see. Oh, okay. Can't. Can't come with me. Barely not doing nothing. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna gamble it on the burst. Okay. Barely gonna lock Buzz down. Uh, not doing too much. Okay. JA counter hit. Gonna give Julio the full combo. Here we go. Ice. Perfect. Yeah. Just go right in there. Okay. Just the air dash into the JA. Go right into the super. Keep it safe. Gonna give Buzz a little bit of extra OD, but uh. <laughs> Make sure you actually secure the round. Make sure that hero burst was worth it. Okay, the Jamaica. Oh, okay, barely out of range on Jamaica. Okay, here we go. You have to do the regular round BMB. And you're oh, trying to reset with a cross up. Okay, there we go. Buzz getting pro uh, caught by the raw. Okay, not gonna spend the burst to get Hulu in the corner. Oh, yeah, there we go. Rising J2A. Catching Fuzz while blocking. <laughs> Very tricky instant overhead. And oh yeah, we're going. Yeah, that's just gonna be a free EA right there. I can see the start up of Navy pressure coming out. Nothing Julio can do about that. That's the oh, just cross up right into the four A, <laughs> and just like that, Julio has taken game number one. Definitely some nine rounds out here. Not like the ninest round I've seen from Julio, but definitely a nine round. We'll see this. Looking to just get into loser semis. Winner of this has to fight the winner of Metal Wolf and make OT. <laughs> definitely rough out here. But we'll see. Definitely not counting Fuzz out of this at all. Still very capable of taking this set. <laughs> oh, Julio's gonna make it even more difficult catching first blood here. As Fuzz in the corner. The very, very delayed rock coming out. Catches the fuzzy block and from Fuzz. And here we go. Oh, tries to, oh no, just caught by the seed there. Oh, let's see, with a, oh, never mind. Tries to reset with rock. No, oh, my god. <laughs> the Navy pressure. I, I, did that like shift nine's hitbox back? Like just enough so that dead angle went? I, I gotta, like, check that in the hitbox view after. <laughs> if it's, like, just far enough. Oh, my God. Okay, juicy grounded hit. That's gonna be the burst. Okay, ooh, excellent. Just dashing right there. No, but yeah, you're trying to block Hazama in OD, and by trying to block, I mean, try to delay the inevitable. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, okay. Yeah, catch the air throw whip. Just 4A start. The basic 9 BNB. Can't see. Oh, I think Julio was getting confused which slot was which, because definitely just threw the rock in the pocket <laughs> and then tried to use the no spell drive. So let's see, Fuzz on the board now. Looking to tie it up, take us to game number three. Let's see, yeah, we get nice blocks, the main pressure. That's right on the hook, okay, big 2B coming out. Okay, dashing right through, dashes right back, that's the second time he has been doing a lot of these, like, double dashes right up against Fuzz and getting four A's after. Okay, but here we go, chain air to air. Doesn't lead to much, but get Julio on the ground, but, oh, no, just barely missed timing the meaty. 
If, if Julio knows you're not getting your meaties exactly right, is just so willing to just like dash on wake up. It's not a the dash only has projectile frame one in bone, but it's like what frame like four or something when she gets full in bone. Okay, we go JC's Jamage and Ender. Okay, dash from Kaitor once again. Okay, up dash that time into the JA. Let's see, okay, 6A, get Fuzz into the corner. <laughs> Looking rough. Fuzz has to do something. Okay, spends the OD. Oh no! Caught by the seed. And that is going to be a 2 0 for Julio Cravera. We got other side of Loser's Corvus here. Winner gets to fight Julio and Loser Semis. <laughs> the, uh, the Mexico Team Kill with Metal Wolf and Mako Team. So you definitely promote each other. And you're a team. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Flip neutral. Oh my god. Air, fi air hit 5C. <laughs> okay, good burst from Mako Team. Not going to take. 5C already does so much damage on the ground. Uh, don't Disregard the fatal as well. Uh, our range from, thank you so much for following as well. I appreciate it. Okay, nice blocks the 6B. I know Metal Wolf. I'm pretty sure these two have played like quite a bit. No, here we go. Dangerous state for Mako T. Was already expended all that barrier. Okay, just send, in those, send out the fireballs. Don't see those too often from my. Well, it's actually the flip overhead. Caught by the JB. JB. Well, uh, both uh, the Kokonoi JA and JB just do so much. Oh, happy little reset. <laughs> Make T not the only reset specialist out here. Yeah, we're only getting like 2k. Yeah, dude, using the safe jump. Doesn't want to deal with any of the uh, Super Bowl shenanigans. And here we go, yeah, get the. What's it called, though? <laughs> The stance loops in corner, but oh, there we go. Okay, there's the Super Bowl. Yes, he's the five C's coming out. You're not safe jumping it this all. <laughs> and oh no, catches the roll with the two A. <laughs> as good as it was looking for Metal Wolf. Mega Dude's like, oh no, okay, no purple throws. Oh my god. And Mega Dude's spending the second burst this round. Okay, tries to. Okay, no, there's no burst on Metal Wolf's side. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's see. Jumps over and oh my god, what the. The counter is so just okay. Metal needs something, and yeah, just gonna attack the throw. Sees it coming from a mile away. Unfortunately, that burst not working out. Uh, so what happened there is um, what's it called? Uh, counter assault hitbox is like very far forward, and then some moves such as uh, 6B, for example, with Kokonoe, uh, will just make it with. I I've seen the exact same thing happen with uh. Ragna 5C can make counter assault with. <laughs> uh, I've seen that happen as well. Uh, yeah, counter assault could have some funny things happen. Oh, well, again, blocking the 6B is very well on that. Uh, on point of blocking those, but uh, not blocking the throws though. Let's see. Get another 6B getting blocked. I'm curious to see if Mago T tries to go for just like 6B1 into RC Low. Here we go. Okay, yeah, I get the JC jumping over. Oh shit, I forgot to set up the throw items on my face thing. I will redo- I will refund your points later. Also set it up after this set. Forgot to do that earlier, I apologize. That's a Mago T popping the, popping the burst. Okay, Super Bowl coming out. Oh no, tries to get the dive follow up! Let's see. Oh no, the Super Bowl just big combo coming out here on its own. And then another 6B getting blocked and none of these have worked out. Throws out him at Yuri. In thrust, Beat it. trust. <laughs> oh, let's go play radical. A uh, radical and an MP3. <laughs> What's it do? It plays the radical and say. Okay, we'll go fidget spinner combo here. Okay, it's looking good for Mako team. It's a substantial life lead. Okay, maybe go for. TRM setup. Oh, jumps over. Okay, interesting. And then dive. Okay, that's plus frames. Make it to jumping right out, though. Okay, no challenging as the fidget spinner. It's the okay, big J or 5C fatal. Here we go. Pop the OD. We're going all the way to the corner. And here we go. Probably using the super as well. And okay, never mind. Just use the yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the Koi Hime Gong as well. The best counter hit sound in any fighting game. Here, oh, okay. Super, oh no, the throw is gonna catch before the jam session can even connect. And Mako T is gonna go up 1 0. And as, uh, as we're waiting, set up the.
I can. I think the throw items thing is working. It's it doesn't right? It's working. I apologize. I will refund the points later. <laughs> there we go. Going into game number two here. And the still is best of three. So this is potential uh last game for Metal Open. Oh my god! Maybe they're going Wait, for the theft! Going for the hard tag. Very well might see some theft here. <laughs> We're considering uh we got Mango T on screen with Coconut. Let's see, okay. Give me your tipper. No combo there with the A version. Let's see, okay, yeah, throwing out okay, throwing out the spear toss is more here. Just trying to calm down a little bit. Don't don't run too much. And there we go. Yeah, big counter here with the spear. Gonna get the big staircase into the dive. Baits out the super ball, but oh no, you have to be on point with the punish. <laughs> here we go. Oh, okay, throws out the super, but that's not gonna be it. Three save spaced just spaced perfectly. <laughs> Alright, like reaching just the right amount of distance. Get that punish there. Doesn't even have to move up. <laughs> Squad Earth points for cute sound effects. Well, they're pretty good sound effects. Okay, here we go. Uh, is this some. Uh, is this enough? Metal Wolf! <laughs> Just use the big use super! <laughs> Fun fact, my spirit toss makes her immune to Graviton because of reasons. I'm pretty sure it also makes her immune to magnetism from Tager, but don't quote me on that. Okay, so Metal Wolf. Okay, up around here. How's a round to spare? When you're against Mako T, you definitely want everything you can get. Let's see. Oh, purple throw there. Not even a TRM. Oh no. <laughs> this is not looking good for Metal Wolf right now. Yeah, let's see. Just going for the jump that time. I haven't seen a lot of jumps from Mako T. <laughs> yeah, we got the Hellfire sound as well. <laughs> that boy's clip is gone. Let's see, yeah, they're trying to throw, mix it up a little bit, charge spear toss, okay. Big plus frame, so it tries to get the dash throw, now we're looking at now. And here we go. Come oh, there we go! Actually, like, one of the first resets I've actually seen from Mako T here. With a perfect, gonna close out round two. Head on to set point. <laughs> Metal is gonna get burst by the end of this round, but it's pretty low right now. Okay, I'll throw us up the hammer here. Oh, big! Okay, okay. Oh, it tries to go for the tipper combo. It's barely. Those are very, like, tough to. I know Maya's generally considered as, like. It, it's very easy to, like. Her beginner combos are very easy to pick up, but. <laughs> tipper stuff like that is definitely a little bit more difficult. And oh, no, just the delayed 6B. Okay, that's gonna get metal. Full combo in the corner here. Okay, yeah, delay tech. Oh, no, cop by the Karasa. <laughs> Mako T's gonna make sure metal is still in the corner after. Okay, let's see the jam session. Oh, no cop by throw counter. Yeah, Metal has to burst there. No OD from Mako T. It's gonna allow Metal to keep going. That is very rough. <laughs> Mako T essentially on full resources. Uh, so yeah, there were RC, just keep the turn after Rocket Punch. There were okay, no anti or attempt. Okay, double flip. And there we go. Okay, block the okay, block the Super Ball. And try oh my god, burst combo into the Super Ball. And then just goes for the throw right after. That is a 2-0 for Lord Mako T. We got our winner's finals set here. The only two players in Baraka here that have not lost a set. And that is Dawn and Murakuno Unit 14. Get your gamblings in now for who you think is going to win. <laughs> These two in the past, when they have fought, it is very, very close. So I'm definitely expecting a good set between these two. I'm pretty sure this is one of the more rough matchups for Relius. Or is the rough matchup for 12? I don't remember. It's rough for one of them. Okay, here we go. Yeah, setting up the invite help. Here we go. The doll just doing such a good job controlling space. Of course, new 12 can also do it the same. And here we go, the Rails Calm is coming out here. Yeah, there we go, Doll Dive Ender. Let's see, oh, DP RC, yeah, the RC keep it safe. <laughs> I think maybe caught the Doll there. That's one thing that can happen. Okay, JC. Yeah, slowly, just like, both playing very patiently. I'm definitely expecting, like, a timeout or two during the set. There we go, yeah, using the RC to convert mid-screen. 
Oh, I thought I was trying to save Super. Be extra optimal. Don't give Dawn the OD. God, so just doing 5C, 6C around Star. <laughs> have I got the Rally? Rally's got some decent buns and neutral. Oh, no. Big DP fate, but not going to get a full punish off of that. Well, will so you definitely make, uh, make 14 aware. I mean, that's two DPs now that have not hit. So we'll see how the how the wake up DP meta evolves during this set. Just putting up all the staggers. Okay, blocks the overhead. They were oh, sends out the buzzsaw, but the laser is holding Dawn back. Not gonna allow him to approach. That's no, okay. Big charge. But the corner Dawn gonna get gonna gonna use the burst. I just now want to deal with her here. Okay, let's see. 14 does have a full stick of butter. 100 meter on deck. Oh, okay. Last of Fierce Swipe's gonna connect. No, no. These can be very dangerous. Okay, another DPRC. Okay, DPRC a little bit more safe here. Because normally if you're trying to bait out DPRC, you want the entire thing to whiff just so they can't RC after and make it safe. But uh, with the doll, there's a lot of these situations where 14 is just gonna RC off the doll. Since you just, uh, you can't RC on whip in this game. Yeah, let's see, oh, 5C, 6 eh? That also does, like, really well in, like, that mid-range against the doll as well. And, oh my god! The anti-air bait still getting caught by the 2C. <laughs> Reaching all the way up there. Like, a 3.4k. <laughs> Gives such good reward. No, just caught by the 6 eh, here. Don't see Dawn go for it too often, but hey, it still is an option. God's okay, lead laying right through, ending the pressure in 14. Oh, okay. He's <laughs> JA. There we go, the JC to get in. is looking real good for Dawn. Okay, and let's see. Can set up the I win super. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, she's gonna try and DPRC or DP all through it. Oh, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, ends up dropping. That is one thing that Mu 12 can do. Where, like, that, that super, the, the, I just call it the I win super. It's called Dual Bios, but I call it the I win super. Because I never see anyone block it. Or block the entirety of it. Like, 95% of the time. It's basically just, like, the doll comes out and punches you a bunch. And it forces you to block while Relius can run, like, what, like, three different mix-ups on you? <laughs> uh, both mid-screen and in the corner. Oh, they were seeing the command grab come out as well. <laughs> I don't see too often. It, it's definitely possible, but like, it's definitely not something you'll see anyone like. I, at least, I haven't seen anyone like consistently be able to avoid it. Because <laughs> you gotta avoid. In the corner, it's mostly a lot of like jumps, and the mix is either like delayed overhead with the air dash, or it just goes for empty jump low. Okay, DPRC. Definitely wants to take her turn. DPRC on it maybe once or twice with the gym. But yeah, uh, 14 can just like, if, if she's feeling it, she can just go for all the DPs to clash against all the hits. The only character that I think has a, uh, a consistent way out is Azrael. <laughs> Whereas, uh, his DPs clash cancelable and gets him out of the corner. Can the first Oh no! Yeah, tries to DP against it. Don't know what she was going for, we had Dawn able to get in now. Has her in the corner. And here we go. Looking real good. Oh, gonna burst out. <laughs> I mean, very quickly, Don, Don's like almost taking a second game here so fast. Look at this. On the verge of a perfect in game two. Got the dress cross up. Not even getting hit by that. All the staggers with five. And Don ready with the tack after the five A. <laughs> Don't see all the two A's. Okay, there we go. There's the TRM. <laughs> Don just sitting back trying to do the throw OS. That's the danger of the throw OS. It can be called out. Yeah, let's see, throw all the lasers. Dawn again, just sitting back, dead angle away. Set up the eye win super. Let's see, oh, tries to go for the air throw after knowing 14's gonna be trying to jump over. Let's see, more than half and just hang back more. But, oh, there we go, okay. 5v60, not gonna kill. But there we go. The maybe cross up with Dawn jumping over. I know Dawn likes going for that a lot. Uh, d what Relius can do is can try and jump over you. And then send the doll forward to attack. And when he sends the doll forward, it halts his air momentum. Almost as never a cross up. Okay. <laughs> no, the, the, no, the only person that highest on it was uh, 14 <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, guess not. Okay, DP working out that time. 
That's okay. Tries to get the rising air throw. Don ready with the tag, but caught after. Jolteen has him in the corner. Okay, let's see. This access to high level. Yeah, no, both of these players are very, very, very strong. It's definitely high level of play. <laughs> let's see. Oh, okay, caught by the air throw. Throw counter. <laughs> It's a very nice situation for Dawn here, but 49 does- Okay! Yeah, delay attack going right through the unblockable attempt. <laughs> DPR sees right after. See, okay, OD right through the 5B. Yeah, you gotta be careful, because the, the doll can definitely cover a lot of situations where Relius would otherwise be vulnerable. Here we go. Comboing during 14's OD. It looks like Relius is gonna finish it off here. Yeah, another round to Dawn. Boy, yeah, I think it's taken one round this set so far. But yeah, Dawn on the set point, verge of a 3-0. And winner's finals will certainly, certainly be a pretty good victory. Okay, so, oh my god, anti-air 3C. This is where the reverse 3-0 starts. I mean, if they have a reverse 3-0 is gonna happen, I mean, this is where it starts. 14's gonna make something happen here. Yeah, sending out all the lasers. Here we go, send Dawn right back to the ground, get the corner. Let's see, oh my god, Dawn just mashing that 2A now. <laughs> no more patience and just holding down back. Here we go, I win super coming out. And let's see, Dawn just gonna sit back, watch the show. And oh my god, the, okay. <laughs> Seeing the five A's come out? Is the DP on A? I don't know. Okay, there we go, that's the burst from 14. Okay, there we go, successfully baits the 2C that time. Okay, the laser's flying all over the place. Gets the poke. We'll see, okay, ah, uh, the super is not gonna hit, and that's the insta-burst from Dawn on the punish. We'll see, just not gonna let this round go, but here we go! 14 manages to take the round in the end, also gets Dawn's burst while she's at it. 6 2 3 C. Okay, so 14 probably knows something I don't, because consistently she's been going for, like, it's like, a few DPs, and then goes for 5A. So yeah, she, she probably knows something I don't about how to get out of that super with new 12. But here we go. I mean, we were saying, uh, oh, backdash, getting caught by the 2A, 5A. Here we go. This isn't going to do too much. This is definitely prorated. Yeah, forcing Donna block, caught by the initial overhead incoming mix. And here we go. Verge of a perfect. Okay, oh, that probably accidental purple coming out. Okay, yeah, delay the jump in. Okay, okay, over again, jump right over, but mashing 2A right after. Oh yeah, probably just like 5A jump cancel. They were oh, okay, Dawn, mashing that OD right as they get it. Oh no, this is looking, this is potentially rough. Okay, OD, I win super. <laughs> okay, let's see, I can't just DP right through this one. Okay, 6A just whipping right there. Caught by the delayed overhead though. Okay, Dawn can certainly still take this and still has high active flow going right now. Another 50 meter in the back pocket. No, nope, never mind. Just able to jump out of the super in time. But oh no. Okay, pops OD. Immediately backdashing right out of there. Just set up lasers. And now those lasers are going to take the game for 14. And never count yourself. Oh, yeah, it's pew pew. Just hang back. <laughs> Let Dawn play some Toho. But yeah, probably the, yeah, the way the super works is, like, the first, like, I don't know, like, first, like, what, four punches? The first few, few punches are, like, really fast, but then the other ones are slower, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, if you have a, something that's jump cancelable, it sounds about right. Okay, let's see, yeah, get those IBs on Fury Swipes, going right back to the regular Relius pressure. Okay, Pops OD, okay, gonna get her turn here, at least escape the corner, never mind, ooh. Let's see, Dawn still has the advantage. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, 5C starter in the corner. <laughs> Expecting this to do quite a bit. Yeah, look at this. Rack up all that damage. Yeah, the 5C, 6C confirmed. Almost 4K coming out. Okay, blocks the Ode air dash overhead. Yeah, let's see. Okay, DP on wake up. Oh, no. Doesn't go for RC that time. Well, I imagine this is probably not the worst you can take for a DP punishing blaze blue. Oh, 3.4K is actually pretty bad. Here we go, another hit right there, and looks like that should be it. Yeah, Donna's a full stick of butter, shouldn't even need to spend it. Let's do the regular super. And Don just going right back on to set point. Both players at full OD. Go either way, oh, okay, big footsies that round star, big trade. Okay, let's see, oh no! I don't know what happened there with the inputs, but again, uh... <laughs> 
in DP attempt getting counter hit by the Fairy Swipes. Okay, let's see here. Okay, blocks the empty jump low. They get out. Yeah, going for these uh, anti air baits. Definitely knows how scary that 2C can be. Okay, let's see. Oh, was that? Okay, no, the throw did not come out. <laughs> Super is gonna get punished real hard here. Dawn is gonna get the doll back and does have OD on deck. That's the OMT jump below. That's gonna be the burst. And we'll see. 14 can come back again. Okay, all the lasers coming out. And I think this is it. Spend, spend another 50 meter. And this should be it. There we go. Once again, just like game three. Dawn gonna spend the burst and it does not pay off. 14 once again going in with OD advantage in the round three. Okay, let's see. Okay, sending the doll in. He gets the two-way counter hit. He has to unsummon the doll, getting real low. Okay, let's see. Okay, has the laser set up. Trying to get some kind of control here, but the doll not allowing that to happen easily. Oh, okay, fatal six A. Probably not expected. Just trying to do some pressure on Blah. Let's see. Okay, gets the six B. Just I assume that's six B. No one's corrected me on that. And here we go. Yeah, big combos in the corner. Dawn does have burst back. So we'll see. Okay, gonna pop OD. But never mind. Just dashes right in with a 2B. Not even gonna give Dawn a chance. And we are now going to game number five. Dawn looking so, so strong during those first two games. Uh, but 14 has been bringing this back has won the last two so slow or uh, like so close the last two games have been but 14's been holding it out been playing a lot better just take a second to breathe get you get those extra adaptation potential time to adapt in these best of five settings let's say the reverse 30 allegations more true looking more truthful by the moment <laughs> yeah let's see here Definitely reverse throws are unlikely, but now we have just one game left between these two. Winner gets to move on to Grands. And uh, all the past four games all come down to this. Let's see, he's trying to just say, get some setup. Dawn hanging back, wants this doll meter to regen. And those relics rely so heavily upon it. He's trying to find some way to navigate the Toho. Fortune does find a way in. Dawn popping the OD. Has a lot of doll meter, but doesn't get a great chance to use it. A 2B counter hit. Has a lot of damage for 14 in the corner. And here we go. Look at this. 3.4K almost. Okay, empty jump. Delayed low. We're done. Oh no! The counter assault getting baited. And I'm pretty sure this kills. Super should do it before Dawn even gets OD back. Assuming Dawn even wanted to use it. Here we go. <laughs> And for the first time in this set, 14 at the advantage in score. One round away from moving to Grand Finals. Okay, let's see. Gets the 2B. Okay, ID cross up. Not gonna work. Okay, blocks the overhead. Don, not gonna let all the rounds that 14 has just taken shake him. Oh no! <laughs> okay. We can okay, doll. Oh no! Yeah, tries to send the doll out to do fairy swipes, but the laser's just stopping anything Dawn's trying to do. Oh my god, big two A mash. Okay, RC's after. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just trying to harass with the doll here. Doesn't want to give 14 like any chance to send those lasers out. Cause knows like even once Dawn's gotten the hit, like knows that it's still not your turn against Mu 12. Cause those lasers are still very much a threat. Okay, use the lead light to stop the approach. Okay, the no cross up. Here we go. Pop the OD. Get all that doll meter back. <laughs> we are right back in the same situation with Aurelius. Okay, yeah. Fury Swipe's coming out. Dawn hanging back. I don't maybe expecting DQRC. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. The big bait to set up dual BOs. Oh, no. Okay, it dropped, but it probably wasn't killing anyways. We'll see. Doll meter gone. Dawn has no resources on hand. No meter, no doll, no OD. <laughs> the other hand, 14 has everything on deck. <laughs> this could be pretty scary despite the life lead. Okay, send out the fairy swipes. Yeah, DPRC just completely safe. Don't give Dawn any chance to approach. 
We'll see kind of any hit for Dawn here, uh, except for the JA. It's anything. 13 seconds on the clock. 14 needs some kind of clean hit. The backdash works out that time. Blocks the overhead. Got to the throw. Okay, the late tech from Dawn. Okay, four seconds on the clock. Can she do it in time? Okay, yeah, Dawn. Okay, Dawn not going for the burst. Not even Super's gonna do it there. And we are going. Uh. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Od. I don't know. If, if you're not confident in it, you can, I mean, you know, like, the nerves are going for both players at this point. <laughs> well, I definitely don't expect to be at, like, full attention, like, right now. They know, like, <laughs> uh, you, you are hella nervous in that situation. Okay, here we go. Dawn gets the hit. Oh, okay, the backdash right out of there, caught by the doll. No, no, Furious Swipes is really big for Dawn. Furious Swipes is such a good starter. Look at this, in the corner, how much damage this is doing. <laughs> Rally is not typically, like, known for huge damage. Okay, let's see, okay, no, I'm blocked by 4.4k, oh my god. Okay, let's see, pops OD, but Dawn catches with the air throw, with the air throw counter! <laughs> and shutting down the reverse 3-0. Dawn... Gonna take the set three to two. Now we got losers semis. We got the run back with Julio and Lord Mako T. Don't I expect on a good set between these two. <laughs> Mother daughter going to alt. What will they buy? <laughs> we will see. We'll start off. We got a big fatal pun it or fatal hit. Uh doesn't usually doesn't lead to much from that far away. Uh, you do gotta be careful when when you're a character like Kokonoa, you don't really want to ever get super comfortable uh, setting up fireballs from full screen because again, nine always just has navy pressure. Oh my god, <laughs> six say right into the na uh, right into the rock. Yeah, definitely tough to deal with. Gotta keep track of those spells. I swear, I thought I said. <laughs> yeah, no game game don't really set up. <laughs> I apologize. Usually I try to get it done ahead of time, so we're not gambling in the middle of the set. Okay, here we go. Oh, trying to trying to do the meaty raw. Got see. Oh, okay, tries to bait the burst with a DP right there from Julio. Okay, yeah. RC. Okay, blocks the rock. Doesn't block the navy pressure. Okay, there we go. Another rock coming out. Mango T on point. Another rock block. Okay, Fuzzy jumped the navy pressure, but oh, that navy pressure. Oh, barely doesn't get the JB there. There we go, yeah. Doesn't even have to worry about a Super Bowl punish. Able to just get it done there in those three hits. And Julio taking game number one with almost a double perfect. Definitely a big change of pace from what we saw in Winter's Side, which was Mako T typically doing very well. Again, that, that was uh, back in Winter's Court. It was 2-0 for Mako T over Julio. It seems like Julio's gotten the download already. We'll see how it goes in game two. There we go. Just airstream in the Crimson Raider. Set up the Electric Ball. Electric Ball, very slow and large moving uh, projectile. And oh my god, that's the second time in bracket Julio has sent out Electric Ball and then hit Navy Pressure to combo into it. Well, <laughs> actually, the like big brain stuff coming on. There we go. Reset with the Navy Pressure. Definitely a Julio doing Julio and nine things. Again, you always gotta be ready, like even in the middle of combos. Uh, nine is has the toolkit to get those resets in there, and Julio is very real willing to go for those resets. Let's see. Okay, yeah, throw. No meaties here. <laughs> Poor jam session can even come out. Okay, guess I'm with the JB. <laughs> here we go. Hit for Julio. Gonna put Mako T in the corner. Here we go, guys. Do regular fairy okay. Oh, tries to cross up. Maybe he's jumping right out of there. There we go. Oh, big electric ball. The trade very much in Julio's favor. And all oh, the super ball. Yeah, that's a safe jump right there. Oh, no, the Crimson Raider apparently is not the super ball punish. Here we go. The throw for Mako T. I'm assuming this is going to kill you. Let's see. About to get 50 meter? Oh no! Okay, drops the combo but gets a blaze blue air throw. Reaching all the way up there to grab Julio. Level three. 
I'd say not getting out of this just yet. Yeah, puts up the stagger. Okay, sends up the fireball. Yeah, another Navy Crusher gonna get blocked, and oh, the big electric ball catch the IED in. Okay, Navy Crusher getting jumped over. Okay, I'm just trying to navigate the neutral here. I'm using that dash as a projectile in bulb. So can use that to navigate around a lot of the screen control token I know. Normally sets up. Wow, four, wait, four B. Don't say that every day, but here we go. Combo with the C. Here we go, Fairy Oki coming out here. Blocks the Rising J to oh, hey. Here we go, getting hit anyways. Looking rough for Mako T. Gotta watch out. Rock is coming out. There we go, man, just to get out of there. Uh, is Rock either, like, stupidly active, or is Julio just, like, always timing this early? Okay, here, okay. Did you get the hit? Oh, tries to reset, gets the side swap. Yeah, just dead angle away. Well, he's making some space. Get these Navy pressures. No, who's one? Is one gonna kill? And all oh, gets in. Just a double teleport up. Get the J2A, and that is it. They can do barely not getting burst back. And that is a 2 0 for Julio. Oh, now we got our losers finals set with Julio and number 14. Julio looking to go fight Dawn in a winner. Is 14 looking for the run back? We'll see if he gets a chance. <laughs> definitely curious how this goes. Where uh, 9 definitely with the, the unconventional mobility. Might sound bad against all the lasers, but with that dash being frame 1 projectile in bomb. Uh, <laughs> curious how. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no meaty Julio just hitting 6 6 and oh no! Tries to burst the rock. <laughs> you cannot burst the rock. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Crimson Raider RC. Just going for the lows after. And that's, yeah, no timer today. Oh, it tries to do the very high up rock. Man, you gotta be careful again. Like, those those lasers are just always active. It's like, if those things are out, or if those things are getting sent out, it is not your turn. You gotta be real careful against the kick And watch the run up completely going past the Navy pressure. No, there we go. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go, yeah. I was waiting for it. Like, the lasers dancing all the way around. And the very last one gonna hit Julio. There we go, the 4A mash. Get the big combo mid-screen. Here we go, gets the ice. And here we go, yeah. Very Oki mid-screen. That's basic 9 Oki. Okay, let's see, gets in. There we go, yeah. Very patient, wa watching for Rock to come out. No, oh, there's the big fatal. Yeah, you gotta be careful. These lasers are still coming out. Just because you get the hit, it is not your turn. Here we go, big combo in the corner with meter. It looks like this should be it, Sage. Yeah, there we go. Super to finish it out. And 14, gonna take game number one. Yeah, just looking extremely strong right now. Uh, but we'll see if Julio's able to bring it back. And this is also best of five. So winner has to win three whole games. So it does give a... If one of these players has some adaptations on deck. Uh, it gives them a chance to get those ready. There we go. Okay. There we go. See, I'm seeing Julio get this combo. And I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the laser to come out to stop it. There we go. Actually, uh, big fatal combo. It's like what all, upwards of 4k. There we go. Okay, tries to rock... Ock, but here we go. Just yes, locking 14 down. Not giving her any chance to take advantage of this OD. And it looks like that's just the round for Julio. Here we go. Finish it off with the laser. Get that extra bit of damage in the end. Julio, yeah, after going down one game, brings it right back with a perfect. We'll see if the end is playing patient. There we go. Oh, seen it. Again, 4B four, four once again. Normally I don't see 4B used too much from now. Uh, but Julio's making it work out tonight. There we go. Oh, 5A Antia. <laughs> Not catching the double teleport. Or catching the double teleport. There we go. Once again, the mash from Julio working out. There we go. Ice getting the ground. Oh, double Crimson Raider. And let's see. Oh, okay. Doing the delayed rock that time. But 14 just jumping right out of there. Yeah, the laser's coming out once again. Where are they going? There we go. Okay, burst the, burst the 6C there. Okay, there we go. 
There were RC to try and get as much corner care. Oh no! Okay, Rock just completely whiffing. That's not good for Julio. Big OD, all the big lasers coming out here. Julio's holding up back, hold the barrier. They were on once again. Julio getting caught on these neutral falls. How about the 6 aim with the super? Ah, uh, yeah, can set up double super as well. Ca completely cashing out to finish off the round. It doesn't want to give Julio any chance. Let's see it dashing back once again. And once again, oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen 9 get anti here so much. Both 5 and 6, they put in so much work for 14. That's again, all the lasers coming out. There we go. Gets the JA. Gordo is looking good for Julio. Has 14 in the corner. Just catches with the 5C. And with this combo, I imagine it is it. Now rock right into the super. There we go. Julio tying up the games 1-1. One one. It's definitely looking really rough. After game number 1 was looking so much in, uh, in 14's favor. But it seems like Julio was starting to bring it back. Potential adaptations here. My points are at risk. I mean, we will see. We have upwards of three more games to watch, so... <laughs> the, the back of somewhat it looks like. Uh, thank you so much for playing with the code on match, and you know... That was another thing, as, uh... We do still have a, a couple codes, the most toxic and, uh, Tubby Tiger, thank you so much for, uh, following, appreciate it. Here we go, OD right through the 5C, and excellent, getting that dash to be after. We actually still have a, <laughs> the prize pool is still very, very <laughs> big, but, uh, we still do have a couple codes left. <laughs> if y'all want to use those, oh, okay, pop out the Navy Pressure. Okay, 3C right into the rock. Here we go, Julio, 100 meter. Should be it. Yeah, double super. And no gaps in between 14. Cannot burst. Almost a 69, too. Okay, immediately backing off on the round start. That's the okay. Caught by the fairies. Yeah, no match for Julio that time. Gonna fuzzy jump out. But 14 keeping the lockdown ready. No, no. Yeah, again, 4A not working out. Julio now in the corner. Oh, it's okay, laser set up. Get the air dash overhead, but doesn't need to match up. There we go, Julio Classic just dashing right out of the corner. No, all caught by the 2D that time. <laughs> Same time, Julio can't walk forever. Tom Tom, thank you so much for completing this survey quest on Match Arena. Every little bit added up to help out the face. Oh, yeah, we were very, very lucky to have Match Arena here. <laughs> uh, allows for the funding of these great prize pools without having to make the, pair, the players pay to enter bracket. So yeah, big, big shout to Matt, you know, big shout to y'all you know, that help the, the prize pool get away. where it is. Every little bit adds up and helps out. Yo, Navy Pressure? No, no, I don't know if that's no. I assume that's normally a combo, considering Julio went for it, but... Uh, yeah, Navy Pressure, Laser Super, not working out. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, JA counter hit. This could be big for Julio. There we go. Oh, tries to go for the reset. But 14 just mashing the Super. Not letting any of that slide. I mean, when you when you play it, when you fight a character like Nine, I mean, those mix-ups are still very scary. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you gotta let them know they they can't go for the resets all the time. And oh, okay, Five A not working as an here that time. Is Nine's I mean, all of Nine's buttons uh, are very disjointed, which is very unlike a lot of the folks in Blaze Blue. Oh, uh, with this big extended hurt boxes on all of them. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for Nine, that's not the case. So. <laughs> Don't look funky Cena or get anti would so much. Here we go. Okay, DP. That's gonna get baited. And Julio just mashing right after that. <laughs> just assumes 14 does not have the proper punish. <laughs> Normally, uh, the DP is only minus 4 on block. So you literally have to IB and then punish with a 7 frame button. And oh no, Julio not gonna get a chance to burst here. Oh no, 14 dropped the combo. But there we go, the laser catch and Julio trying to approach. Very nice. I mean, we've seen 14 is 14 is very confident in these now. Just knows like 
<laughs> I was very ready to confirm to the end of that because we've seen it so many times. I, I can't even count how many times now. Julia's just gone for Navy pressure full screen, and Fortune is like, okay, we'll run up 2B. It's a free punish. And, uh, except sometimes that happens. <laughs> we don't run up 2B. And Hilaire's just kind of throw, throwing these out there, doesn't want to let, let 14 get, like, too comfortable. Okay, rock in the back pocket, this could be scary. Yeah, Crimson Raider in there. Okay, another rock, but just DP right out of there. <laughs> I am not dealing with your mix-up today. Julio, okay, here we go. Double rock in the corner, here we go. Oh, is this... No, never mind! Julio going for the reset, and 14 once again ready to just mash super. I mean, if you're either dying or gonna get, uh... <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna die anyways by the combo and Julio's going for a reset. Makes sense. Uh, Julio's still taking the round in the end. Try to take us to another Game 5 situation with 14 here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay. Funky side swap there. <laughs> I don't know if 14 was fully ready for that. Yeah, let's see, but yeah, trying to find some way to approach with the lasers. Definitely not the easy, even with the projectile and boom dash, not the easiest thing to do. Well, the point blank, six C, gonna allow Julio to get in the corner, barely misses the unblockable. And there we go, the five C, immediately getting punched by the two B. Just gonna use that time to set up the Ahudi lasers. Okay, JV no combo, counter assault away, Navy pressure blocked once again. Let's see, okay, DP right through the two B approach. And okay, four A, catching 14, just hitting something on wake up. And let's see, oh, okay, does the, yeah, 4A rebeat that time, and that's the burst from 14, mashes the laser, okay, let's see, yeah, get the punch, okay, Julio is gambling today, betting it all on the burst, and it does not pay off, getting a little bit too antsy, I don't know if I agree with that, because now, I mean, both players extremely low on burst, but, uh, <laughs> Julio, is, and this is set point for 14, You're low profiling right under the JB. Okay, let's see, again, another 2B confirmed. Doesn't get too much. Oh, okay. Big trade with the 6B. Okay, no punish on the DP. Gets the 6 save, but again, the lasers are just out. It is not your turn. We got a big combo 14 in the corner. Julio can... It's not impossible, but it's definitely looking real rough right now. Okay, and again, like Julio, stick it to the tried and true, just dash out of the corner. Okay, has to be really careful. And oh, once again... The 6A catching Julio with the jump in. Well, that is a 3-1 for 14. We got the run back for Grand Finals now. 14 crawling back through losers. Let's see if she can get the redemption after the, the, the kind, of, kind of heartbreaking Game 5 loss in Winner's Finals. Definitely expecting this to be very, very close. These two have played quite a bit before. These two have already played five whole games today. <laughs> uh, they're also both competing for... I don't know the exact amount, but... They're both competing for a very large prize pool right now. So whoever wins this, definitely gonna get another pretty solid <laughs> chunk of change here. Whatever the, the difference is between first and second. I don't remember the exact split for top eight. But yeah, big shout to like, a High Voltage, DGF, and everyone else that has helped contribute to the prize pool. Thank you so, so much. $762.45. Definitely crazy for an online weekly. Here we go. Oh my god, the Guilty Gear throw from Don and Oh, Okay, I'm not... That's not a reversal, is it? What? But the big rocket pool? A big, like, mechanical thing? Okay. Yeah, ah, Guilty Gear. Just mash through Okay, now let's see. Really good situation for Dawn. Going right into the super. And let's see. It's still going. Another super coming out. Okay, no, no I win super. But never mind. 14 just mashing super in the middle of all of that. I don't know what Dawn was going for there. Because I'm I'm assuming Dawn couldn't have killed. Unless maybe he popped OD. Or if he popped OD. And just dropped it. Oh, the unblockable, okay. Yeah, I, I was figuring it was gonna be like, okay, one super, and then maybe I win super. 
Let's see, all the, yeah, the laser catching Dong on the approach. Here we go, okay, no, not getting too much off the mid screen, confirmed, counter assault out of the corner. Will Fibe catch the back dash? Here we go, 14, not in a good situation right now. Dong like does, ooh, okay, interesting blue beat, okay, able to check out. Okay, 5C lane, lead lane right through. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, not getting caught by the no cross at that time, but caught by the JB on the landing. And I uh, kind of just as expected, of course, game one is going to round, or going to last round. That's, yeah, set up the lasers. If Dawn's gonna give you the space, might as well take advantage of the time. Yeah, red light once again. Okay, DB working out there. DB actually doing more damage than I expect. <laughs> I've, I've never paid attention to how much it does on its own. Okay, but here we go. Okay, all right, damage for 14 in the corner. Empty jump low. Can't really see how much damage it's exactly doing because the, <laughs> the the laser is kind of covering it. What, what are you supposed to call the things that shoot out the lasers? I think I've just called them diamonds before. Here we go. Oh, big 5C. This definitely should kill. <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, 6C. Oh, oh, bits. Okay. And 14, gonna take game number one. Oh, they're called Steins? Okay. <laughs> Just got here. Were there any bullet players? We had a uh, Jibka on earlier, uh, though Jibka went Ragna in, went once he got to top A. So I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and you can man grab with all uh, while they fall out of a super because it's unblocked, not a grab technically. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> Okay, we'll see what happens here. Heading into game number two. Again, definitely expecting the both players to be like very familiar with each other's like both both toolkits as like the characters and for the players. Drop the combo. Okay, two-way counter hit. Don's definitely been going for a couple matches. Uh, against I mean, we saw a lot in winners finals, like 14 going for a lot of the regular stagger pressure. And Don actually was able to mash to blow it up a couple times. Wow, that seems like you're just going for some classic frame traps. It's going very well, and here it goes. Yeah, super. Keep it simple. No chance of dropping this. Forty taking another very strong round. Okay, yeah, bit, bit Steins. I guess Steins like the official name. <laughs> not, not, not nothing too complicated. We had a nine on right before this. Uh, Julio got third in this tournament. Uh, we got Julio Cravera, and then we also had Remains on earlier. Oh, so yeah, we definitely had some 9 gameplay going on today. Going to regret not putting everything on 14. <laughs> I mean, we will see. I mean, 14 wins this, uh, wins the, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> wins the first set of grands. Uh, will be another one. Oh, uh, there, there was no live shoot today, I apologize. Okay, here we go, okay, 60, I get the full damage off of the Iron Super. There we go, oh my god. Okay, let's see, okay, gets the invite hell. Get a little bit of damage again, every every little bit of time, like, Dawn does want to stall to make sure that Dawn meter can come back. Oh, okay, does the lead lay. Maybe worried about, like, a DP or a Super, even. But here we go. Yeah, all the coming out. Okay, 2B. Oh, no confirm off 2B. There we go, Super. Yeah, that's gonna hit there. And Dawn, I think, it looks like... Oh, never mind. Doesn't even have to spend OD. <laughs> Has enough time to summon the doll. Get the fairy swipes in there. Yeah, 14 was uh, kind, of, kind of playing pretty well in losers' finals against Julio. Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you you, you want to be careful. With, make sure you got those delay techs in there. Cause, uh, yeah, again, like, we'll look at this. Fury, if you get a Fury Swipe starter with Relius, it does so much damage. Well, just to throw the OD. <laughs> but, uh, 14 just getting right out of there. Okay, let's see. 5A Ant here. That's okay. Yeah, Don trying to mash out of there. 14 not hitting anything. No, Axel using the DP right into the... I call it Rai, because that's what it's called for Axel. I don't remember what it's called in this game. Uh, but, yeah, I can use that to get out of there. Okay, let's see, okay, 5C, once again, oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing a really good job with these lead lays. Let's see, no, okay, no, no air to air attempt. Let's see, oh, excellent jumping right over. Catching 14 to recovery. Okay, but DPRC right after. It's not enough. 14 is about to get OD back as well. So definitely still stands a pretty good chance. We just run up the row. <laughs> Keep it simple. Or just try, okay, just charge the. 
Uh, charge him up. I know. Okay. Pop OD. And then send out the super. Uh, is that... Okay, actually, wait, actually got a lot of damage on a Dawn there. <laughs> Pretty even right now, but oh man, in this situation... I mean, you gotta be careful with either player. Dawn, almost no barrier gauge either. <laughs> okay, let's see. And okay, catch it with the doll. Okay, mash the 5A. It's keeping it very stable. Dangerous stage is not where you want to be against Mu12 right now. Okay, 5C is not enough, but oh my god! <laughs> the 2C catching the IAD reset. And Dawn gonna tie up the games 1-1. Just throwing it out there. I mean, 2C is a pretty good button. I mean, I mean I'd, I'd take a second to breathe after if I, if I lost that. I mean, very scary. I mean, 14 was very close to bring that back. Was playing that really well with the OD and the Super. Dawn was in danger state. Like. That's okay, very late tech there. Oh, okay. Right, getting caught by the doll buzz saw. Okay, yeah, uh, the Apops OD, but doesn't really get too much of a chance here. Just caught by the 2B, maybe trying to jump out of the corner. Getting no chance now. Here, Dawn has to unsummon the doll. Okay, not getting the proper knockdown, but hey, okay, just happy little resets with JC after. Can hear what Yapper able to get the proper knockdown now. Here, so, okay, just rise out of the corner. I don't know if you can, like, Time your delay tech to get that. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of extra damage with the dangerous defense. Dawn, or Rally is one of the, the few characters in the game to like consistently get a, a counter assault of combo out the doll. It's hard program that you can't kill with it, but <laughs> yeah, Relius and Carl are both characters. It just runs into the, the Clover bloodline. We can co a combo off your counter assault with your family members. It's really just the power of family. Here we'll send out the lasers, Dawn forced to block, counter herself away, I'm not dealing with this today. Okay, <laughs> almost caught there, okay, Pops OD, okay, oh, EA not gonna get baited. And let's see, yeah, all the lasers coming in, oh my god, they just eat up Dawn's health just so fast. Is that super, like, do you not block it or something, or... <laughs> or can you not, like, block after the super flash or something? <laughs> I've seen Dawn get caught by it a couple times. See, oh, the DP catches the doll, but not Dawn. You know, big reward for Dawn here. Look at this huge chunk of 14's health. There we go, which is another hit right after. <laughs> and look at that. 14 going back to full OD, but we are going to round through. That was so fast. Well, 77 seconds on the clock. Dawn just getting a couple very clean hits. Let's see. Okay, pops OD. Let's see, I'm setting up all the lasers here. Not allowing Don an easy chance to approach. Okay, no, fuck it. 5A, get the air counter hit. Okay, okay, 6B going lead lane right through. Okay, get the tech away. Don not getting any momentum here. Let's see, I get a little bit of damage on the doll as well. You, you want to make sure if, like, the doll does, like, whip a move right in front of you. A lot of time you can't. Oh, no, Don missing the 2C combo. But there we go. Okay, gets a counter hit with the doll. Gonna make it up very well here. Yeah, OD, oh, look, it drops the combo, but a happy little resets once again. Here we go. Once again, last hit situation, 4-14 here. And then, oh no, the Iwin Super just catching the recovery on the ground. Here we go, Dawn going up 2-1 to one now. No, oh, okay, then both of them mashing that rematch. They are hungry to get back into this. Here's 14. Probably doesn't want to get a little bit too antsy here. Again, grand finals. <laughs> it's probably at least like a hundred dollar difference between first and second here. Okay, 2C not punished. Oh my god, wow, the, two, the JC reaching all the way down. Catch the anti air attempt. Okay, yeah, delay tech right through the fear step. And now you're dealing with yards in the corner. Okay, it pops the OD, but yeah, I'm not really gonna get too much out of it. You're still dealing with Relius pressure. Oh no, the very last second before the doll meter goes away <laughs> gets him. Oh my god, wow, these JCs have been working out really well for Dawn, and it's only really started using them these last, like, two games. Okay, yeah. Tries, okay, DBRC to get out of the unblockable. Okay, tries to tick throw. Okay, lasers are set up. Here we go. Okay. Big JC air hit. Able to get the OTG after. Okay, lasers are still up and okay. JB. 
Okay, this dagger's coming out. Laser's here too. Okay, uh, interesting super attempt. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Okay, DPRC once again. <laughs> Just getting rid of the doll HP. You caught by invite hell. Literally anything going to kill 14 now. I see, okay, but 6A anti air. This should lead to pretty good damage. I mean, if 14 gets a, like, a decent hit next hit for the next confirm, this should be able to win the round. That's okay, the Rai cross up, not gonna work out. Okay, 6B, gonna get jumped right over. Pops OD, and there we go. Okay, just keep it simple. Could definitely punish the 6C hard, but it probably doesn't want to risk anything. Run up DBRC, and then catches with the laser! Even this far, after so many games, 14 still pulling out new tricks. <laughs> I mean, that's what you gotta do when you play. Like, this is your ninth game fighting gong. <laughs> You gotta have new tricks coming out here. And let's see, okay, oh no! Fairy Swipes once again, like, okay, okay never mind, oh no! Okay, Fairy Swipes once again, gonna do so much. I'm, oh, never mind, Dawn drops a combo! Wow, a little bit of nerves on Dawn's side as well. Okay, yeah, you have enough time to jump out of there if uh, you are not in Blockstone. Okay, there we go, RC, gonna get a full combo in the corner now. Okay, get your money's worth. Oh, we have forced to block the lasers, but oh, get caught by that throw after. Very nice, using the gap, and oh, this is looking real good. Another throw coming out here for 14. Yeah, the burst immediately spamming it right as he gets it back. Okay, and the laser super coming out here, and that just, again, obliterating Dawn's health bar. <laughs> as 14 has once again taken us to a Game 5 scenario. I'm also looking up that super right now. While well, we're in the mail here, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Okay, never mind. I'll check out. <laughs> we're in game five now. The, uh, yeah, the tenth game they have played today. Five games in winners' finals. Five games in their first set of grand finals here. <laughs> And we'll see if, if it's 14 able to finally clutch it out. Or is Dawn just going to win? Or is 14 going to clutch out and take us to a second set? Or is Dawn gonna t just going to win the tournament right here? Here we go. Okay. Going to burst through the RC combo. And oh my. Wow. The 2C beating out the 6B. And oh no. Dawn trying to hard tag out here in Blaze Blood. Okay, well, I don't know, big punish, but yeah, all oh, caught by the Steins. <laughs> Trying to get out of there. Okay, Counter Assault's gonna get some room to breathe. Okay, a bus all away. No, doesn't get the hit on the wall. Okay, gets the hit that time. There we go. Okay, laser, no combo. Dawn ready with the tech buttons. Okay, and yeah, has Dawn in the corner now. Yeah, using the lasers. <laughs> Does not want to give him any chance here. Okay, 6 gonna going away. Gets in with the, with the increased JA. Extremely active hitbox. And oh no! Yeah, the I win super gonna work out. There we go, Dawn gonna get all this damage here. Look at this. <laughs> Almost 4k. And oh no! 14 mashing something on Wake Up. As Dawn is gonna move on to tournament point. Boy, he needs to make something happen right now. Very slight OD advantage. Okay, caught by the invite hell. Okay, no, Axel, okay, anti-air bait, going right, I'm gonna punish the 2C. Doesn't get too much, okay, backdash right out of there, but the air dash chasing down. Okay, the doll is out. Be careful, okay, yeah, blocks very swipe, but not too much. Let's see, I'm trying to set the laser, but the doll chasing 14 down. <laughs> Doesn't want to give her any chance to set these up. It's looking real scary, okay. 14's able to get in, okay, frame trap with 2B. Okay, again, RC, full combo in the corner. Big damage. Okay, actually not the most damage, but the important thing is... Oh, never mind, this is big damage. The important thing is, in the corner now. Oh, let's see, Dawn does have 50 meter. Let's see. Okay, pops OD. But oh my god, just mashes 5C! We'll see if 14 has... 14 actually has quite a few resources here. 50 meter and OD. I don't know if there's enough, though. Let's see, pops the super. Will it kill, Sage? No! Just a small amount of life on Dawn left. But all this barrier getting consumed. Okay, empty empty air dash into the 2A. And we are on to game five, last round. 
Gon just wants to win the tournament here. 14, looking to literally just reset the bracket. <laughs> Let's see, okay, big throw combo. Actually beating out the lead leg. That's one thing. Ledley will spot dodge. It, it's a spot dodge. It'll go through any kind of strike move, but it is not throw involved. So if you are going for the okay, that's going to be the burst from Dawn. Last burst in this set. <laughs> so let's see. Run under. Excellent. Okay, punish the doll time. Here we go. 2B. Is this it? Say jam! I think this kills? I don't know move 12 combos. Never mind. Okay, pop OD. There we go. 6C into the super. And... Number 14 is going to reset the bracket. And immediately, you can, you can see them. They are mashing the rematch there. Both of them are hungry for this victory. And I will also set up another gambling real quick. Another gambling. You get in there right now. Y'all got two minutes. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The final, final set of the night. After 10 games, 14 and Dawn are going to one more set here. Okay, Pop OD on the approach. Dawn trying to mash, but the Murakuma backdash. We haven't seen the Murakuma backdash get, like, too much use, but, uh, there's, like, one thing to note with, uh, Mu-12 and the other Murakuma, like, Robot Girl characters. Also, he's a Nami. No, there we go. Actually, there we go. We're seeing the, the anti-zone. The super being used for anti-zoning. I don't think I've ever seen Dawn use it like that, but I guess at that spacing it can work out. Ah, uh, but yeah, 14 has, uh, uh, or Mu-12 has, uh, like, really, really fast backdash. Yeah, I would say, like, right there. Uh, it can do, be very good for getting out of sticky situations. Here we go. Dawn taking first blood here just because 14 uh, won the last set. <laughs> Dawn is far from out of this. Oh, they actually have different ones? Okay, I definitely just pe see people refer to them like all as the Murakumo backdashes. Just because they're they're all the like super fast hover back backdashes. Is the Nami has the best one? Well, of course she does. And here all oh, the OD just caught by the 5B after. OD, unfortunately, not gonna work out at all for 14. <laughs> and let's see, very tough situation now. Almost no health, 50 meter in the dream. Okay, let's see, just the lead leg. Oh, okay, there we go. Excellent from Dawn, keeping it safe. And Dawn gonna take the first game of reset. Kyle Ann, thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. Okay, just like a, a couple frames different for each of them. Interesting. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Yeah, it's an Izanami backdash and the Murakumas are the fakes. True. <laughs> that's how it's at. that's how it actually is. I don't know. 14 just caught by the 2B. Just trying to block the pie after. There we go, Don getting the big 2C punish. Not as much as I normally expect from 2C, honestly. All caught by the air dash overhead. <laughs> Seems silly like, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, big 2C. Okay, doesn't get the cross up, but hey. Okay, there we go. Baits the bur or baits the super. Here we go. Oh no, drops the combo. Yeah, Don not going for a burst, but hey, it uh, works out. Here we go, back in the same situation. There we go, yeah, 6 RC low. Everyone's been getting hit by that today. And again, like, that, that's what you gotta do again. These these two have played so many games literally just in this tournament alone. <laughs> you always gotta be ready. There's, gotta still have these new tricks up your sleeve. Here we go. The super coming out. Okay, catching Dawn. Sending out the command grab. Uh, giving 14 a little bit of a life lead here. Yeah, hitting the doll away. Let's see. Oh my god. Excellent. Catching the jump. Oh no! Dawn holding the doll back! Actually allowing 14 to punish the air dash in. Oh no, that that was tragic there. I'm, I'm I'm sure Don did not intend for that. Okay, 5C, a big corner right. Yeah, Don does not want to knows how much damage that could deal. That's it. Yeah, setting up the lasers. Okay, Doll looking pretty low. No, okay, no Steins out though. Well, as right as I say that the Steins are coming out. <laughs> then big control, but here we go. Yeah, big hit right there. And I mean, once she's getting hit, uh, those Steins just go away. I'm playing a much more pleasant neutral if you're Don. Here we go. It gets the 2B. Nice staircase right into the laser. <laughs> very, I'm assuming that's consistent, like you're sending out the laser with it, but uh, it definitely looks very stylish. 
got to. Okay, gets it with JB. Yeah, that's gonna be the burst from 14. No, no, it's like, does not want to allow Dawn to get anything there. And if she does lose the round, we'll still at least get some burst back. There we go, Laser's able to get in. Wow! <laughs> the hard tech from Dawn. Ah, guilty gear. <laughs> I don't know if Forte, Forte was maybe trying to go for like a, a DPR, well, run up DPRC, which I mean worked once before. Let's see, oh, the ride oh, caught by the buzzsaw. And with a counter hit, getting a full combo on that. Dawn gonna tie up the rounds. Let's see, definitely looking spooky. I mean, 5 OD is not the worst to have for the last round. Oh my god, I don't know what side that was on. I'm assuming that was cross up, maybe. The only person that has to know is Dawn. Okay, we're all oh, laser. Okay, tick laser into the tick throw with the laser. That's it, using the doll to try and approach. Oh my god, the JA is just so active. But there we go, DP gonna pun it, gonna get punished, not too much though. Okay, gets the IED in, just goes for the throw right after. Here we go, using the RC. Oh no! Okay, let's see, yeah, sending out the Steins. Okay, Dawn just, yeah, putting up the pressure, coming out of the corner. Yeah, but 14 gonna jump right up. Excellent! Baits out the 2C, and this should be it. Don't drop your combo, 14. There we go. Yeah, 6C OTG right into the super. <laughs> Here we go. It is one to one once again. Both of these players haven't played so much tonight. If we get another game 5, I will not be surprised. Drinking more water so I don't, uh... Don't lose my voice too much. Okay, here we go. That's the 2B again. Dawn in the corner. Waiting for the very last second to burst there. And there. Oh, excellent! Dawn's got anti-air baits too. Sends in the doll. I, why, why should I jump in when the doll can do it for me? There we go, got another hit here, and now has Fortune in the corner. <laughs> Very scary situation against Relius, but I mean, the doll meter's low, so don't have to worry about that too much. And there we go, oh, no RC coming out there. No, okay, interesting, just throws out the crush trigger in the scramble. I mean, it works, but there's the burst from 14 after. Okay, here we go, another 5B working out. I don't think this kills, but, uh, okay, DP coming out, okay. Dawn doesn't get that much there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dawn not getting as much time as you probably would normally want with the I win super, but still the first mix-up works, and Dawn takes the round. Like, just because you don't have as many, these are still very scary mix-ups. Okay, here we go. Okay, it blocks the 6B again. Okay, cop out the 3C OTG after. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Dawn is definitely taking advantage of some of these delay techs here. Let's see. Oh no! Oh no! Counter. Cop by. Uh, cop doing something on wake up. Cop at a 4D after. Okay, trying to jump out of there. Dawn has a decent amount of Dawn meter to work with. And yeah, it's just a counter assault to get out of the corner. Okay, we'll go JB to get in. Okay, it's looking good for Dawn. Has a lot of meter to work with. There we go. OD right into the throw. Has Dawn in the corner now. Oh no, drops the combo! <laughs> Enough, not ready to do it in OD. Okay, there we go. Oh, the Rai RC is not gonna work! And Dawn, you're gonna come from very quickly right into the Astral! And there we are going up 2 to 1 now. Dawn, once again, taking the lead, like with uh, all these sets, I believe. Uh, hang on, I'm looking at the super here. Does it do any, like, uh, okay, I don't think OD makes like, right, that was graphic. Relius Astral is definitely an Astral that I kind of wish was not in the game. Okay, but here we go. Dawn, more than happy to mash against these OD attempts. He's doing so much, just goes for the throw here. Dawn has not been going for... Oh, okay, never mind, drops the combo. Okay, blocks the right here. Look, I respect the, uh, like, the effort that they made, like, every character unique, but, like... Did they have to make them unique in terms of, like... How they're making them unique?
Here we go. Okay, two way anti air. There we go. 14 has to hold on to the potential tournament point for Dawn. I mean, we were at the situation last set. Literally just needs one more round and then wins the entire event. And Volivora, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. There we go. There's the EA from 14. Yeah, don't, can't let Dawn get too comfortable. Just like always ready to mash against these ODs. Yeah, throwing out all the steins. Kind of set, going out into the air a lot. Yeah, trying to delay getting in. Okay, anti-air DP. Okay, yeah, stop the doll from getting in. Oh my god, really just trudging right through. No fear of any of the lasers. There we go. Gets the hit. Has 50 meter, has full doll meter available. Gets the- Oh, okay. Big whiff. 14 not able to escape. And oh no, okay, never mind. Able to use the ride to get out. Okay, yeah, tries to punish the special, but not able to in time. And I mean, oh, it, okay, sends out the I win super, but oh no! Okay, gets the super, pops OD, no! The EA's not gonna work! Okay. Let's see, oh no! Not able to recover in time, but no doll to combo off of the 2A. Okay, let's see, counter assault away. Okay, put up the 2A stagger. No resources on either side. And Dawn, just gonna jump right over with the JB. And that is going to take it 3-1 for Dawn. And after being here for over 3 hours for the tournament and 14 games between these two, Dawn is your winner for Snowfield Blaze Blue Central Fiction number 24.